I need tea. This is what I say every day of the week. I almost said good morning. But good evening, everyone. It's 5 p.m. where I am in Ottawa land, Canada. Uh, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> what tea today? Uh, great questions. I'm glad you guys are asking the right types of questions as soon as we get started. I'm drinking peppermint tea with chocolate oat milk. Do you want to see? Here. That This is my tea. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome on in, everyone. It's Wednesday. Welcome to the mods. Welcome to the Menchie Gang members. Welcome to Silly Munchkins. For life. No welcome to Bentendo. Are you excited for new du Dua Lipa? Does it... Who's, D who's Dua Lipa? I only know Taylor Swift. T. I only know Taylor Swift because people only talk about Taylor Swift. So, you know, it's one of those conundrums. Why is it not focusing on my tea? There you go. You need a better shot. Whoa, can't figure it out. It's like the tea is too good. I only know Dula Peep. <laughs> what happened to your thumb? Okay, you guys just want the bad news? Of course, that's what the internet craves, <laughs> is the tragedy. Let me move my tea. Also, speaking of tea, I believe we updated my Simply's Picks page. Finally, you're welcome. So if you put excl exclamation tea in the chat, then you should find that. Okay, brace yourselves. I broke my nail. The good news is, okay. Here's what we gotta do. You can't be so negative all the time. That's what I tell myself in my head. It doesn't always work, but you know, I try. The good news is that it's just my other hand. <laughs> So therefore, I don't really care that much. Like it's fine, you know? If I have a short thumbnail here, the rest of my nails are longish. I did file them down a little bit because I was entering the danger zone. And for me personally, and with anyone, okay, it's important to consider your lifestyle <laughs> in terms of how long you keep your nails. Because if you keep your nails an unreasonable length for your lifestyle, then like, yeah, shit's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like shit's gonna happen if you party too hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you gotta pull it back. You gotta be realistic with what your nails and your lifestyle can handle. So as a hand model, yes, I'm wearing the same thing on both hands. It's incredible. This only happens once a year. Take a screenshot. As a hand model on this hand, I literally don't care about my other hand. That's my right hand. I don't care. It has eczema. Its fingers are like totally crooked. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so I don't take pictures of this hand. I could care less. So I use this hand more to do things in life, right? Like if I have to open something, like I always just use my right hand. I'm also right-handed, so it kind of makes sense. But like, I just, I, I'm very cautious with my main hand, but I'm not with this hand. So as a result, I generally keep this hand shorter nails. Cause like, you know, if I'm doing things more with it, it's a risk to keep them long. And I, I disrespected my own guidance. Okay. I didn't even listen to myself. This hand was getting way too long as evidenced in Snapchats from like last week. <laughs> like I was wearing that blue freezy uh, purple slushy and magenta jelly linear hollow skittle for like two weeks now, like a really long time. <laughs> you can fact check that. And I, I obviously hadn't filed them down while I was wearing it and they were already long. So they grew out another two weeks. And then I broke my thumb while I was still wearing that Manny that should have been changed like a week before. And I just slammed my finger into the fridge. Actually, that's wrong. Uh, the fridge hit me. The fridge abused me. I went to go just like get some oat milk and the fridge just smacked me back in the thumb. And you can kind of see, see there's like a line underneath. It's kind of like a horizontal line. Just under the surface, there's a little bit of a fracture in the nail. It's not like totally split like that. That'd be very painful. 
but there is a little bit of a surface fracture. Like it was bad, you know what I mean? So I filed it down to the closest, you know, close to my skin. So for me, this is short. I know you're like, that's not short simply, my nails are a quarter. Okay, whatever, it's all relative to your own life and your own expectations and whatever. So I'm boycotting my fridge. I'm not gonna go into my fridge for the foreseeable future. It is it is evil. I hope you're not watching this stream on a fridge. If you are watching this on your electronic fridge, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna install a bug in your software and then your fridge is gonna shut down and all your food is gonna get spoiled. So yeah, that's my warning to unplug your fridge. <laughs> you have to protest with me. <laughs> if you support me, you will not use your fridge for the next week. <laughs> that's right, okay? Put all your fridges in jail. You got a fridge ad? after my thumb snapchat actually is it because i wrote the word fridge and it like crawled words that's crazy <laughs> yeah it's a good thing you have long nail beds i guess i do i've seen longer to be honest but um yeah i i suppose but yeah this is now a short nail for me and there's a, you know what's more worrisome to me though, is that there is this fracture, like, uh, let me find it, like right, right here. See that line in the light? That's not good. Cause it's like a deeper fracture, like over my skin. So as that grows out, I have to be careful that that doesn't get worse and then actually bend. Right now it's like safe. I've lacquered it up. I've actually put two top coats and just like tried to seal it in and I'll have to do that again later. Anyways, the nails do look nice. Just ignore my thumb. Wait, that hand's ugly. We go like this. There. No. Why does this look such like a Sears Christmas pose? This is my Christmas card. Merry Christmas, chat. I should wear the same colors on both hands more often. It looks nice, you know what I mean? Like I forgot about how nice it looks when you look put together. <laughs> And your hands kind of look the same. <laughs> it's very Christmassy. Yeah, this is red licorice and green taffy from the OG Rainbow Linear Hollow co Collection. I was just feeling like, let's just do very bright Christmas classic. Um, I could have put the hollow glitters on. I, I know, I realize that, but I don't know. I was like, you know what? This kind of stands out more from far away because the red is like more bright Santa red and I guess the green is similar, but the red is definitely more red from like, if I'm like posing like this, you know what I mean? Like you can tell, it's like red and green, obviously. It also matches my ring and my earrings. It doesn't match this shirt though. <laughs> um, okay, updates, I'm, let me read your stuff. I will. Christmas nails for Christmas. What? What? It, so we have hollow taco detectives? And we have cat detectives. Are you stalking Menchie and Zyler? I would like to know. Are you still in my basement? From that time that you were in my basement trying to figure out which shirt I was wearing? And you did figure out which shirt I was wearing? <laughs> like, oh my god. I have closet stalkers. <laughs> okay. Get your tea. Let me collect my thoughts. Let me go over a few things. Why is my hair doing this? Look at this. You guys always say my hair is nice. What do you think now? Honest question. <laughs> it's like it doesn't know what side to go on. Can I split it? Emo? If I go like this, and I split it, is that more okay? Is that acceptable to you? I don't know what happened. <laughs> they're, they're bangs. <laughs> there. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's French? Oh, oui, c'est français, parce qu'on va uh, plier un jeu tout de suite. 
qui est en français situé en Montréal, Canada. Oui, oui, hon, hon. Ok, anyways. Um, wow, today's, today's just one of those days for my brain. <laughs> What? <laughs> my hair distracted me. First, my broken nail threw off my entire day. And then now my hair, my own hair has distracted me. This weekend is the Holo Taco launch for the after party collection. Yes, the collection name has been leaked. It definitely was not me. I definitely haven't said the words after party multiple times in the last week or two. Uh, not me, probably you, like stalking me. Relax, okay? That is this weekend on Saturday. Usual time, usual place, you know what's up. I don't even need to tell you. You guys, you, you probably have told other people, okay? You don't even need me to tell you. You probably announced it to your friends already. <laughs> You're like, actually, it's this weekend. It's gonna start at this time. This is what's coming out. This is what the Discord detectives have put together so far. Here's the here's the exact colors that are being released. Here's three of the shade names. <laughs> You're not wrong, see? Okay, why don't you tell me what's happening this weekend? Go, let's see, I'll tell you if you're right. Midnight Owl and Crystal Skies, correct? We have 3.5 shade names. Disco Dust, correct. Bottle Service, correct. Oh, you have four shade names. 70% off the entire site, and eh, not correct. But it will be up to 25% off the entire site, except new releases, which is the holiday collection. There's actually technically some items that are more than 25% off. Like we could be annoying and say up to 32% off or whatever it is, I can't remember. But then that would be very misleading because like it's only a couple things that are that. Uh, but yeah, technically there are a few items that will be higher than 25% off, but we're just going with up to 25% off for the messaging. Okay, party popper, no. Dark green glitter starry eyed. Green? We're gonna argue about that one. Hollow Royalty only gets 25% off. No, this is unrelated to Hollow Royalty. This is everyone sale. Hollow Royalty gets their own sale, you know, early in the year. Free shipping for Canada. Okay, you cannot manifest things that I cannot make happen. <laughs> uh, I wish shipping was free. <laughs> Hello. Blue, yes. Christmas lights? What, am I selling Christmas lights? No, there's also an H in that. Ninety percent off. No, okay. Reasonable answers only. Free kitchens. Super chats. I'll go back in a second. <laughs> Assorted formulas. Correct. It will be a mixed six-piece collection. Six. So it's a box size that's a little bit different than before, but it's this usual, not stupid, weird shape boxes. July first sale for Canadians only. We did do that. That's not even a lie. <laughs> Thinner? Question mark? <laughs> Is it a New Year New Year's theme? Uh, maybe to some people. Part of the reason why I liked this one, I was like, ooh, it could be like holidays, but also after the holidays, then also New Year's, and then also like after New Year's. So it's kind of multi-purpose. Early Black Friday sale, yes, starts at the same time as the launch this weekend. So this weekend, Saturday, new after party, six piece holiday, that's our holiday collection. Uh, polishes, not limited edition, box as always is with limited quantities of the box. The box is fucking, fucking pretty. She's too pretty. Like I didn't come up with it. She's too pretty, you know what I mean? <laughs> And Black Friday is starting at the same time. So you can buy the new collection and get all the other shit you want from the store at the same time. So start making your wish lists now. <laughs> this, is the, this is the gaming audience I'm talking to. So I don't need to tell you this because you guys got all your shit in order. But because Black Friday is starting early, um, I think to make sure you get everything that you want, go ahead and sign into your account now. Make sure your account's like activated or whatever. 
and then you can make your own wish list with items on the store now. Add them to your wish list. Let me just quickly show you how to do that because occasionally um, I think people are confused. So I will I will give you a little demo. Okay, look, holidays are here. What do I want? Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna put this on my wish list. You see the little stars at the top right? So whenever you go into a product page, there's stars. You just hit the little stars, and now it's on your wish list. What else do I want? Everything is pine. Wish list. Wish list. Wish list. Oh, I'm gonna get doubles. <laughs> okay. You get the deal. You got the deal. And then, hold on, I just wanna make sure. Okay, there we go. And then you just go to my account and you go to wish list. And it saves everything you put on your wish list. So this way, you have everything already laid out, like all of the, you know, whatever uh, older polishes, recent stuff that you wanna pick up a double of or gifts. It saves it all here and then you can hit add it all to my cart at once so that when you go to checkout and you're like quickly with the after party collection, you've already made decisions about like all this other stuff. And then you can add it to your cart really quickly and just go like that. There you go. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> $700. Okay, well, what do I have in here? I have Polish Mountain. Well, that explains it. <laughs> and the discounts for Black Friday will already, um, they'll be like on the site already. You don't need to add a code or whatever, and it'll update the price already in your wish list. So like even if I, even if I put this on my wish list now, like it'll be the revised Black Friday price list as of uh, Saturday. So that'll change. You could like, you know what I mean. So the price will automatically be applied. You don't have to add codes. How long will the sale last for? So Black Friday is just starting early, so it's gonna start on Saturday and it's gonna go until the end of Black Friday. So it'll continue until Cyber Monday. However, I cannot promise that all of our kind of evergreen regular polishes will all stay in stock for that whole time. And because we know that most people will come to the store on the day of a big launch, which is this Saturday, I'm pretty sure that most of the shit is just gonna go <laughs> on Saturday. So. Even if you want it, like if you want to wait, that's totally up to you. But just I cannot guarantee that we will be able to restock some of the stuff that has sold out because of just how busy it is right now. Does the discount apply to the bundles? So bundles will be discounted to at least be as good as buying it individually. And some of the bundles will will become better than their bundle price now. But it'll all have like a strike through. So it'll be clear. Okay, now I'll, I'll uh, should I check out with $700? I was looking at my account the other day because I was trying to see like if you could look at a customer's wish list. So I looked at my own through the back end and I was like, I've spent $14,000? <laughs> well, like 10 of it is under, I guess I like used two different last names one time. <laughs> Just like a short form of my last name. So one of them says 10 grand and the other one says four. Um, and that's not like PR or anything. That's like, no, me ordering with a credit card like a normal person over the last uh, four years. Yeah. 14,000? We did not need to know that information. I already posted it somewhere. Well, not the 14, but when one of them said nine, I, sh I shared it on my Facebook group. <laughs> they were all like uh, arguing over like who had the most. And I was like, <laughs> and I thought it was funny. It's probably annoying, but I, I thought it was kind of funny. How do I find mine? Well, you have to add it up, but I can go into the records and look. <laughs> Why do I buy from myself? Cause it's fun? <laughs> no. Um, no, ever since we launched, I always make a point to, whether it's every launch or randomly in between launches, or if there's like a promotion going on, I participate in a little bit of like testing, you know, the system and just wanting to experience the entire customer experience from start to finish. 
This doesn't mean I'm trying to like trick warehouse workers or anything like that. It's just like, I just like to do it. You know, if we update the website and change things around, I want to check out like that. If uh, we order, if, you know, if everyone's ordering from launch, I, I want to order from launch too. And I can always use some extra stuff. Um, you know, I, I gift stuff too, like to have a few sets. And obviously I get the sets for free, whatever. <laughs> like, yes, I know <laughs> I didn't have to technically buy it myself, um, but I do like to buy it through the website, get it through the regular delivery system, have it go through all the regular channels and not just be like a back end door of me asking like, hey, can you do this on the side? So it's just part of the process I like to participate in. And it is not technically quality control because I should, that's not the right way to do quality control. <laughs> like that'd be bad if that was our only quality control. Um, there is quality control done at the site, but just me as an individual, I just want to participate in the customer experience and just like feel it all out and feel it through. It also helps that I am Canadian um, or in other words, like I'm, I'm an international customer like some of you are. So I also see it through that lens. Uh, whereas like some of our team is like American, so they don't necessarily have that experience to shop through. So it like helps me see it through that. Like I want to see it go through customs, you know, <laughs> in the normal way. Christine is the final boss secret shopper. <laughs> I'm a secret shopper. <laughs> Basically, I'm an undercover boss. They, d they don't pay attention to, they don't like read the names when they're packing orders, so. No one's like reading that it's Christine. I mean, I'm not saying never, maybe they noticed it, but that's not really what they're, they're not like looking at your name and thinking, oh, that's a nice name. You know what I mean? They're just getting your order out <laughs> and my order out. Okay, now we'll go back to Super Chats. First live stream I've been able to catch in a long time and I have to leave in an hour, but shout out to the VOD squad. Shout out to the VOD squad. Welcome Sydney to the Menti Gang. Can't believe the launch curse got me. I know, right? Looking forward to launch weekend. Currently wearing oak couture and smoothing base gradient. Oh, that's soft and fresh. I like it. Hello. Thank you for playing, enjoying watching this game. Me too, I actually did enjoy it last week. So we are gonna continue with this bed we made after uh, th these su super chats you paid. <laughs> wow, I'm so, I'm a dum dum today. Thank you, Max. Sorry to hear about your thumb. However, the detectives are desperate to know if there is a dusty pink polish released this Saturday. Pretty please. Um, I think we're gonna fight over it. Yeah, we're gonna fight over how to describe it. I have a couple words that I put in the description. And I'm like guaranteeing that people are gonna be, wanna fight. <laughs> it's somewhere in that category. You'll see it uh, Friday. It's actually in the Friday teaser. We're gonna reveal it. Would you say like a pretty star tree topper on your pretty green Christmas tree? What? What? What in the English? Would you say, oh, you're probably referring to something else I said. A pretty star tree tropper, tropper, <laughs> tree drop, tree topper on your pretty green Christmas tree. What Christmas tree, where? I don't have one. The cats would eat it. Gonna use my member chat to ask my parasocial nail mommy to say happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Diva Lope 867. Uh, remember to oil your nails. Christmas nails, I already read that. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Jody. Hello, happy, hello, happy, Christine. <laughs> hello, Christine, happy Wednesday. So excited for Saturday's launch that topper is chef's kiss. Did you guys see it? It was only supposed to be for um, hollow swatches and hollow royalty. Got their exclusive sneak peek email this morning. I'm sure they've shared it everywhere anyways, but uh, it, it's fucking sick. I'm actually not here, what? I'm not actually watching, but I'm here. Okay, okay. I'll check the bot later. Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> Dominique, nail twins. I recently broke my thumb and my others are the same length as yours. Yeah, it's not weird at all. It's fine, you know, it's fine. Also, oh my God, two years of Menchie Gang. <gasps> wow, two years, damn. 
I and all I have is rainbow star. There's no way to make this emoji even more crazy because you can't have actual hollow and they don't have animations, you know? Would there mayhaps be a green polish being released for 12 days? Um, mayhaps? It may happen? We are currently finalizing 12 days of Christmas without age. Thank you for keeping me company while I get over COVID. Super excited for this new launch. The gold is beautiful, thank you. It's like a rich gold, like very, like it will call you poor because it's so 24K rich gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like warm brassy ass gold. I didn't put that in the copy description. That'd be weird if I wrote brassy ass gold. Had a rough day at work. Always look forward to your streams. How's the time change? Uh, it's it's helpful. I like it now. I hate it in the spring. Can't wait to see future merch drops. Any plans for Black Friday? For my merch for Black Friday? I think I'm gonna see what I can do to put these on sale, maybe. Um, but yeah, working on some stuff. Ina, hi Simply. It was my birthday two days ago. Happy belated birthday. So I finally get to settle down and work, lol. But just want to say I appreciate your videos. Thank you. You should watch the swatching stream. That, that's a work stream. Instead of playing this game, could you make our bed? No, I will only make the bed in a video game. Okay, where it makes sense to make a bed. So I can complete the task. In real life, it makes no sense. Because <laughs> I'm just going to sleep there. <laughs> Any chance rewards will change? um not before this weekend we're gonna do it after this launch and before december stuff because it hasn't been that long like it was changed just before birthday and we saw really good feedback on rewards so far so we're gonna leave them and people also get really upset if you switch them out too soon because a lot of people have been like looking at them planning to get it for this launch and if we switch it out they get mad but you know people are gonna have different choices either way and that's why when you see a reward that you like and there's it is a big launch then you should just grab that reward um in case we change it which we will soon but not this week i just calculated and realized i have spent over 2k <laughs> well worth it so excited for saturday we'll definitely be getting everything okay jenny k you are in royalty <laughs> i can tell i'm gonna look you up I'm just kidding. I won't do that. You know, privacy, whatever. Hi, Christine. Happy Wednesday. Could the next Polish Mountain be a Krakow Mountain? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> can I say no? Do Can I not be nice? <laughs> just thinking about the dark green frosted metal of my dreams. Yeah, keep thinking. Any tips for packing up your holo for moving? Over 100 polishes to pack up. Uh, Watch my three videos on moving or disassembling or restocking my shelves restocking my shelves Ooh. I wish you put the nail tools back. Yeah, but when we did that, everyone just redeemed them and then we just didn't have any for months. <laughs> so like, which one would you prefer? Us get letting a select proportion of people be able to redeem them and then everyone else is shit out of luck for months? I don't know, you know, it's tricky. Always willing to try different things. That's what we're doing now. I just watched another streamer play this bed we made yesterday and I'm so excited to see your choices and outcomes. Oh yeah, we're gonna have different outcomes. I kind of forgot that there's gonna be like outcomes here. Currently the total Holo Taco collection, including all limited edition discontinued items is 2,222. So that's since 2019, so that's in four years. How have I spent 14,000? <laughs> like, how many of each thing did I buy? <laughs> I guess I bought, like, multiples of things. But I, I buy randomly, like, in between launches. 
<laughs> like obviously way more than the average customer. Maybe it's all the glossy tacos. Like, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> random. Well, I buy everything and then I also buy sometimes multiples and then I buy in between collections. Whereas most people like aren't, aren't doing that, right? So I guess that's what, I don't know. Does that include the shipping cost? Um, actually, good question. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's just like your customer spend. We could buy a second hummus fridge with that money. Yeah, or we could not. Or I could just buy my own nail polish. Thank you. Are you decorating your room? I need to. Because like, what the fuck is this? Happy birthday? We get it. Okay, we get it. It's been my birthday for a month. I think we should change it. <laughs> I don't want to calculate. Yeah, don't calculate. Okay, I'm not trying to influence you to calculate. Um, unless you want to, because you want to be fiscally responsible and be aware of your budgets, which you should always be, especially in this season. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Be responsible, set a budget, stay within it, stay within your means and be comfortable with your expenses and take care of your livelihood, et cetera, et cetera. I am your mother. <laughs> No? What do you mean no? Listen to me. I have no budget. Well, okay. Like, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna shake my head at you. <laughs> With respect. That, that's all I will say. Will there be any other new polishes before the end of the year outside Saturday's launch? So if you take a look back, which I'm sure all the detectives had done, what do we do during last 12 days of Christmas? Not that it's gonna repeat exactly like if we released a red flake and silver flake and a display rack, that doesn't mean we're releasing a different flake, two flakes and a different display rack. Like that's, that's not what I mean. But was there new items? Was there a vault? Was there a royalty who voted to bring back something? Maybe high level things like that. There will be some similarities, but we also want to keep it fun which is, you know, the point of 12 days of Christmas without the H. And you guys will get to see what royalty voted back. And we have a couple other like smaller things that aren't like insane. But uh or I guess there's one thing you might think is insane. I don't know. I don't want to overhype it, but I also don't want to be annoying. Like, you know, what do I say? Okay, how about I just say nothing? When does 12 days start? Uh that I can say. December 1st. 12 days of Christmas, December 1st to the 12th. <laughs> um, yes, we will have some boxes. I, we will have the Chrome box, I'm pretty sure. But they're still doing inventory checking. Okay, did I miss one of these? Almost two years of Menchie Yang. Thank you, C. Kramer. I'm wearing cool cat mom. Um, what did Ben say that we should ignore? I just looked at my credit card statement and I've only spent $2,000 on chickpeas. Oh, that gives me the ick. <laughs> $2,000 down the drain. Literally, cause you like pour the chickpea water down the drain. Mm. Susan, I had to download the be this bed we made last weekend. I'm excited to see how it ends for you since I decided to pick the opposite choices you made. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Did you know that there's an ick in chickpeas? Okay, let's do your homework. Set up your wish list, but also pay attention to what uh, Connie 
from the Discord made. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, let me just confirm one thing. Yeah. Connie with the K, shout out to you and your wonderful homework services. Connie made us this amazing summary. <laughs> so in case you... <laughs> uh, Connie sets an example that we all need to follow, including myself. Like how to take notes, how to use images, how to have bullet points, how to have headers, when to use caps, how to title a document, how to export a document in a PDF. These are the life skills that you need to practice. <laughs> okay? I'm telling you. Life skills here that we're learning on uh, Simply Not Logical. These are the skills that the detectives need to improve upon in order to make sense of their disorganized chaos. So they can present a cohesive, simple deck to me, to you, so we can all understand what in the hell is going on. <laughs> Take tips from Connie. Okay, simply game logical. Oh, never mind. I gotta read this. Thank you, Ashley. As much as I love new products, individual releases during 12 days Christmas makes it sucky to pay shipping. I totally hear you. I think, unfortunately, that is a something I can't do that much about for international customers since the shipping threshold is higher because it's like $100 to get to free shipping. And that's harder to do if we aren't releasing $100 worth of stuff, unless you want me to release $100 worth of stuff every couple days. Um, <laughs> so I'm not necessarily doing that. However, we are considering the order. And so what we're gonna do is like very early on in 12 days is gonna release the stuff that's newer so that we expect people might like hold off on buying it on that day and wait until like the vault day or something and then pick up new stuff and vault on the same day. So yeah, we are trying to make it make sense for people so they can do that. At the same time, I can't lie to you and like guarantee you that something is gonna be there or you know, whatever. But yeah, we are trying to structure it so that it's a bit easier to just make like one or two shopping decisions instead of choosing to purchase every day. That being said, I still wanna be able to offer something different, whether it's a different promotion or whatever it is, or a competition on this day or a giveaway on this day. Like we're gonna have fun and do different things on different days. Not every day is a new product. Just a couple days will be like new stuff to purchase. So it's a little bit of a compromise, um, but you know, we, we wanna make it fun and exciting and have something different and new to look forward to, so. And unfortunately I cannot control shipping. But I hear you as a Canadian. I understand. Wolfen, just want to say thank you for everything you have done. You really inspire me to work for my goals and dreams and your streams relax me. <laughs> Why are people so nice? It's because this isn't Ben's stream. Why are you so nice? Is it Christmas or something? That's so kind, thank you. Um, this brings me back to when I got a letter on Saturday that that didn't really like me. <laughs> that was the opposite of nice, <laughs> but it's fine. It was a, it was an interesting moment to reflect upon. That was in the mail stream. We are nice because you're the goat. Um, I'm pretty sure you're just a detective who likes to insert the word goat in everything you say, correct? Okay, stop distracting me from my homework. <laughs> Connie put this together, good lord. Okay, Simply Game Logical, pressing X to remain a maid. <laughs> I'm only cleaning on this stream, okay? This bed we made stream, part one, recap, setting. Montréal, 1950. Wow, I almost forgot how to say years in French. It's very confusing. 1890. No, that's 80, 90. What the fuck? I like lost all my grade three, what just happened? My brain. Okay, 1950s. <laughs> the Clarington Hotel, hotel recently hosted a Valentine's Day ball on Friday night and implied there was a mishap. Snowstorm currently passing through, it's Canada. This happens every day. 
No news to report. Characters, hotel staff, that's us, we are Sophie. I should have done my hair like her. 1950, okay, it's 900. I thought that's what I said. But I, was, I thought sometimes they like do a 80, but that's 80. But it's 1900, so it is just saying the single number at a time. But you know how sometimes they like lump two numbers and you have to say it differently? Cause like, Wheat is just the eight, but 80 is 80. Why? <laughs> Je ne comprends pas. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que fuck? I do look like her. Uh, Sophie Roy, us, maid, like snooping, feels something weird happening in the hotel. Beth, this, this person. Hotel desk receptionist, our work bestie, possible love interest, question mark. Encourages and aids our snooping. She like wants the tea. She wants the dirt. She wants to dish the dirt. She wants to make the place dirty and then read about it. <laughs> Andrew, hotel desk receptionist, doesn't judge us eavesdropping on people because he likes to eavesdrop too. Has a book club that no one's join. That no one joins. What is this? Book tundo? <laughs> Roasted. You've been roasted. Bernard Leduc, manager, gestionnaire, hotel owner, cheating on his wife, Linda. <laughs> Partners with William Weston, Galen Weston from Loblaw. Working with Weston to oppose new psychiatric hospital construction because he cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move into his backyard. Quote, Linda, governess. Do we have a picture of Linda? I don't think we know what Linda looks like, right? Stirring trouble between Jacques and Wendy been complaining about Wendy being flirty with guests, sleeping with Bernard in room uh, 508 in his office. Hypocrite bitch was written in lipstick on his office door. Jacques, engaged to Wendy, relationship troubles with Wendy's due to, with Wendy's, <laughs> the hamburger place, <laughs> due to Linda's complaints. Bobby, Eugene, Bobby, we don't know much about. Eugene, repairman, has a wife, Joyce, has a daughter, Denise, who is mentally ill, requested Belnau to support the new psychiatric hospital construction, but was denied to maintain partnership with Weston, refused to fix Bernard's office window after discovering Bernard would oppose the hôpital, hôpital construction, regardless of Weston's influence. Wendy, maid, graded her job, current employee of the month, engaged to Jacques, having a hard time because of Linda's comments, most likely wrote hypocrite bitch on Linda's office door. Susan, maid, gossips with Yvette, thinks Rebecca is ugly. Yvette, gossips with Susan, doesn't think Wendy deserves Jack. Rebecca, maid, Nicole, maid, scared that her son is gay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I just remembered. This video game is set in 1950s. So <laughs> they've like dropped a lot of propaganda in there, including like um, how divorce should be illegal. <laughs> like women need to get in line or like don't be gay. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I think it's a social commentary on it and you're not actually supposed to take it as like a literal instruction or wish from the developers. That's how I see it. Pretty sure that's the right take. But yeah, the, it's coming from the perspective of like showing how ridiculous 1950s logic was, to be clear. Carol, new hire, made photo with Wendy torn off. They don't like her. She can't sit with us. Ew. Characters, guest, Mr. Spade, real name, Paul Morgan. He's the guy with the pictures, the stalker that I threw away by accident. Cause like we were just starting and there was a button that said like throw away. And I said, okay. We will see the consequences of this action. Um, but it was a picture of us, the maid, that Mr. Spade took because he stalked us and then he developed them in the bathroom of the hotel, which he converted into a photography studio. How many crimes is that? That's like a couple crimes. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Like, is he gonna murder us? We'll see. Yeah, he has pictures of us. What the fuck? He has a sussy map and evidence board about these other two people, M and H, that he's been stalking and following. He spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. Why do we know this? Oh, because we read all of his papers. <laughs> Oops. 
He requested to move to another room that was closer to MH, if I recall correctly, but he was denied. Unknown important guest celebrity booked the entire sixth floor is probably Taylor Swift and uh, has been very demanding and high maintenance. Swifties are mad at that inference. But I feel like any celebrity of that status, if you didn't know who it was and what they were requesting, you would, like if you're a worker at the hotel, you would always think it's high maintenance and annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, even if you didn't know who it was. Like, I don't know, they got a lot of shit they need, you know? That's just how the cookie crumbles. m &H, Marcella and Hector Cruz being stalked by Mr. Spade. Hector is an insurance agent. Marcella had her personal information stolen, visiting town to renew their vows and celebrate their anniversary. Bank account suspiciously drained. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I recall. Sussy notes implying secrets are being kept from each other. Yes. I think we like kind of ended on the bank, bank note, right? Mrs. Beaumont, extended stay guest, has a son, Michael, exchanging notes with Hector or Marcella. Other characters, William Weston, partners with Bernal, financially helping with Clarington Hotel Renovation, and he's opposing the new psychiatric hospital construction. Where we left off. Just finished deciphering the note we found in the vent, which we, need to, we needed a screwdriver to go get. Um, Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Now sneak into Mrs. Beaumont's room. Thank you. <laughs> okay, one thing about this game that I found just like a little bit frustrating was there was like this task to do, but then they distracted you with another room that opened up. And then there was like this person you could go talk to. And then when you're going to get the screwdriver from the basement, there's all this other shit that interrupts you. And you're like, wait, where was I going? <laughs> like what? Like it reminds me of real life when I'm like going downstairs to make tea and then I like forgot that I was making tea. You know what I mean? Like it's like that. So thank you for telling me what to do. I'm gonna keep this open so I don't forget. Reminder, the game includes a character in progress log. You can read for more info. Literally my savior, Connie. <laughs> thank you, Connie. A plus. Connie's gotten an A plus on every single assignment that I didn't even ask her to submit. But uh, Connie just does the most, you know? Everyone needs a Connie in their life. Where can I find this PDF in Discord? Uh, it was left in the Simply React channel, which is uh, you right now reacting to me streaming. Okay, I'm gonna leave that open. And let's switch over to gaming. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Chris, I was gifted Saf's bats. I use them on my current Manny. Picking them off is a great alternative for my anxiety. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to do. Oh, why does it say I need an update? Fuck. Okay. It's already at 12%, it's fine. They probably like made edits since we played it on its first day of release. Fix the glitches I caused, maybe. What, what do you mean I caused them? Okay, it's done. Damn, that was fast. The detectives in charge of their own evidence compilation this launch. I wonder if we can top the last one. Yes, I have delegated the task. 
it is up to them and only them to uh, give you a good presentation. <laughs> we'll see if they're right. Mod Katie, Chris, do I have permission to ban Ben? Yeah, you don't even need to provide a rationale, just do it. All right, continue. Imagine I hit new game by accident. It's just one of those days. Okay, let me orient myself to remember where I am and what I'm doing. Shit, what did Connie say? Okay, let's just read this again. Yeah. Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Should I throw it away? It's the Bible. It's the revised standard version. What does it mean whether they revised it? <laughs> that should probably sound so dumb. <laughs> but like, how many how many revisions are there? <laughs> Okay, dear son, we read this before, right? Yes, we did. Okay. All right, let's just go. That was the shopping at Weston. Like someone had quite the shopping spree. So is it this room? Connie, what room number was it? <laughs> What's this? Clean? I stole it? Oh my god, I stole her dress. 507? What room, is it? room am I in? What job am I working? Oh, that's 508. Okay, well, I just stole your dress. Sophie, c'est quoi ça? Let's get to the bottom of this and find out what links these rooms together. Let the sno snooping commence. It's a bit of a mess, but nothing out of the ordinary for a mother and child staying for such a long period of time. Where should I start investigating? There's an open suitcase lying on the bed that immediately drew my attention, but there's lots of other things lying around too, right? Oh. Well, I like to snoop in a perimeter sweep fashion to make sure I cover all my bases. Which means, oh my god, this flooring is so old. It, like, reminds me of places I lived. No, I can't open the safe. Pourquoi? Like, what's this suitcase? Should I close the door? So no one knows I'm in here. <laughs> Je suis Sophie. J'aime Snoopy. Snoopy. Lipstick. Oh. Lipstick. Should I clean? Yeah, I need to pick them up to pretend that I was cleaning in here. In case someone does walk in. It's like, oh, Mr. I was cleaning. Cruise, huh? Mr. Cruz, the all-American fire and life insurance company. Insurance agent. Protect the dream. Okay, it's from Austin, Texas. Protect the dream. <gasps> What's this? States, times. What does it all mean? 1824, write that down. It's circled for a reason. And now we have to open every single drawer. Hello? Why won't it open? Oh, because this is blocking it? Can I have a drink? Cherry brandy. Product of England.
Les cigarettes Red Lion, rich tobacco taste. Ew. <laughs> American blend. You know, we are in Montreal, Canada. There's a lot of American things, <laughs> right? Hmm. Why is there stuff for Hector in her room? So maybe she was using his insurance services? These are hair curlers, looks like. What's that, a glove? Oh my god, someone got murdered. Yes, give me the glove. Let me touch it. Really? I can't do anything with it? Ugh. Okay, well, there's white gloves. There's no fire in the fireplace. There's no picture in the picture frame. Suspicious. What is this? They don't look happy. Suspicious. Wait, how come there's like a little magnifying glass that sometimes pops up? <laughs> you almost look like Marcella. So is that Marcella? Can I action anyone else? Who are these children? Hello? Hello, hello? You almost look like Marcella. Okay, I just realized that I think I missed a thing. If I inspect and then I do... Oh. Never mind. Hmm. It's not toggling that, like, little loop. Magnifying glass. Frosted pops? Aww. Offers you a chance to visit its amazing cereal factor in Calgary, Alberta. Michael Boma. Hotel Clarington. Wow, I remember this shit on cereal boxes. I'm old. I wasn't even around in the 50s. But they had, like, things printed, sometimes on the inside of cereal boxes, that had, like, perforated lines printed on it, and then you had to cut it out, and you'd, like, write your name to, like, enter a contest. To, like, win free cereal for life or some shit. <laughs> Available to Canadian residents only. Oh, sorry. 90% of you. That's fucking creepy. <gasps> A fort? Oh my god, it's so fun! I thought that was a dog for a second. Okay, we gotta stay in order. Aww. A pencil, double-sided. A car. Keep battery out when not in use. What? That's stupid. No one will ever do that. Rainbow 10 colors. The fastest way on rails through the Midwest. MWR. Midwestern Railway. <gasps> What's this? So you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Hmm. I hope you are well in spite of the circumstances. We've been on the Z train for two days now. That's what? Oh, guys, it takes me like half an hour to warm up with accents, okay? It's a long ride. Je parle pas le français, okay? It's a long ride made 
even longer by the fact that I cannot wait to see you again. We are scheduled to arrive in Montreal on the eve of Valentine's Day. I booked room 509. It's a marital suite. When we arrive, please refrain from talking to me. <laughs> what? Until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. Say hello, hello to Michael, Michelle for me. M. Mrs. Beaumont. Darrington Hotel, Montréal. So it's from M to Mrs. Beaumont. Am I like Connie? <laughs> Connie, can you remind me <laughs> or chat? To Mrs. Beaumont, whose room we are in with a child. And the letter is from M. Is that M as in M and H? Marcella? Marcella, right? This is confusion. Okay, it is Marcella. Okay. Marcella, Marcella, I don't know the pronunciation. Megan Markle. It's definitely not, maybe it is Megan Markle. So this means I can do something. Three cents. Damn inflation. Look at the little, is that a cat? Aw. Usually this means I can snoop with a loop. Oh, there it is. Um, did Marcella send this? Okay, now we have our answer. Sorry, Connie. We're dum-dums. Okay. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. They can. I promise get, it's not you. Get rid of the adults. Get rid of all of them. Okay, this is from Michael. Michelle is probably how they say it. I'm sorry, but mom has me. What, now I'm yikes forever, girl. I don't know how to do a little French boy's voice. <laughs> it's so specific. <laughs> what? I'll just do yikes forever. It's fine. Okay. I'm sorry, but mom asked me not to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We really have... We really... We have two beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom, let me build a fort, and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. <laughs> The hotel is nice too, but I miss home. I wish mom could and you could be happy. I wish everything could go back to the way it was before, but mom says it's impossible. She says she no longer loves you. Do you think she'll ever stop loving me too? Michelle. <laughs> Michael in French is usually Michelle, which I understand makes no sense because in English there's Michelle spelled very different. Anyways, that's Michael from Franbo. <laughs> Poor child, of course. Adults are fucked. Cancel the adults. Okay, let's see what's on television. There's never anything on TV. It's nothing good on in 1950. La grammaire pour tous! Oh my god, does anyone remember Le Becherel? The fucking bane of my existence. Uh, I always had a crisis. An existential crisis. Okay, who knows Becherel? I just unlocked trauma for like at least seven of you. Come on, at least seven of the. I just realized I don't have my thing open. Sorry, there, there we go. Ah! No! Uh oh, sorry. Uh oh, spaghettios. There we go. Okay, how many know le bechamel? Not bechamel, bechamel. There you go, Deanna. Not the bechamel. Oh my God, I still have mine. Oh no, very useful book. No, 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 no. C'est pas vrai. C'est pas utile. <laughs> Only seven people. Okay, literally no one knows it. Basically, it's like. Um, so you know how some people, like, study the Bible? Okay, you know that? It's like that, but French, 
and about how to conjugate verbs. Because in the French language, you can't just say, I did this. Okay? The did part of the word will change depending on whether it was I, you, she, he, they, we, all of us. Uh-uh. It's, you can't say did. It fucking changes. So that's why there's kind of like this meme that Ben has done. And he's like, Je ongle, which means I nail. Tu ongle, <laughs> with like probably has an S. <laughs> Il ongle. <laughs> Just like the the verb fucking changes and you add a letter or you add, change the last three letters for every fucking type of person you're referring to. It's the, the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> but it was called the Becherel. Just like Spanish, yes. Um, they probably have the equivalent of a becherel in Spanish. I don't know what it's called, though. But it was like, it's the Bible for French conjugations. And my entire memory of my childhood is studying a becherel. So I could memorize, like, how to conjugate the verb être, which just means to be. Like, it's just never that simple. <laughs> like, I remember crying about it. Oh my god, and it was this ugly green book. Not the futur composé, no, pas le subjonctif. The subjonctif is like, pour que je puisse, whatever. So I could do this. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I just had like a crisis there. I'll be okay, I swear. <laughs> La grammaire pour tous. <laughs> How do I burn the book? I would like to burn it. Can I tell you a secret? I actually never memorized any of them. Like, if you ask me what uh, imperatif is, like one of them, I won't fucking know. But if you give me a multiple choice or an open-ended question about like how I conjugate this sentence, I usually know what it is, but I can't tell you what fucking tense it is, because who cares? As long as you're right, why do you need to know what it was called? <laughs> so I stopped caring about that and just paid attention to what sounded correct based on my childhood trauma of reading the stupid book. Anyways. Okay. Commission des écoles catholiques de Montréal. Uh-oh. That is the School Commission of Catholics of Montreal. I kind of like this font. To and Bercy. Sub sujet. Michel's withdrawal from school. Dear Mrs. Bercy, we have successfully processed your request to withdraw your son, Michel Bercy, from his school schedule and system under the agreement that you will continue his education from home. Following this letter, you will receive the list of books and school materials you need to purchase in order to follow the curriculum from home. <laughs> A social worker will be in touch to help you understand our milestones so that your son can benefit from our programs from the comfort of his home. Thank you for thinking of your son's education, Director Donald Biron. Okay. Um, I'm a little... Should, should we be concerned that uh, she is taking her kid out of school Maybe to live in a hotel? Mrs. Beaumont. Beaumont is Anna Bercy? To Anne Bercy. Do you think she changed her name? Like she's doing like Sneaky Snake? She's anti-vax? Then. Were people anti-vax in the 1950s? Did they even have vax? I don't even know if you could be anti-vax. I don't even think they had Vax. Okay, we'll, we'll save this for our notes. Okay, can I uh, open the blinds? No. A radiator. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. Okay, I'm gonna need this. Um, who is this from? Oh, the name of the center is smudged. I need to know what accent to do. <laughs> okay, when you if you don't know, it's French. December 26, 1945. Right, Melon? 
Melon is our French mod. Okay. Dear Anne, you were correct. I missed the snow already. It's so hot right now. And oh, no. This is American. Go back. Go back. This is American accent. Uh, Texan. Dear Anne, you were right. I missed the snow already. It's so hot right now in Texas. It's quite a shock after all the cool weather of Montreal. Menchie. There's a Menchie. I interrupt this to show you my cat. Her name is Manchi. She looks like that. Manchi. Elle est française. Son nom est Manchi. Comment ça va, mon petit minou? Oh, are you okay? Sounds like you just ate some tuna. Okay. Where was I? My family has never seen snow before, and I could not find the words to tell them how beautiful it is. They don't understand what they are missing. I wish I could build my brothers a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> like the one we built together a few years ago. I know it's childish, but I had, I had not had that much fun in years. Christmas, with an H, was exhausting. Nine days of eating, singing, dancing. It's great fun, but... I'm glad it's over so I can rest a little. Of course, celebrations will resume for New Year's, but uh, gives me a few days to relax. How are things going with your family? I know you don't get along well, but I hope you're able to have a good time. I will leave for Montreal on the 8th. I cannot wait to be back. I miss finding black cat hairs all over my clothes. I miss our late night studying sessions at Harry's. I even miss Sister Miller's classes, if you can believe it. I will see y'all soon. Warm wishes. We don't know who it is. But uh, it's someone who is in Texas. I don't know that that means they're Texan. But, you know, it made sense. I think a woman wrote the note. <laughs> Minty, can I put you in your bed? Can I put you in bed? Hold on. Your southern accent is perfect. America disagrees with that. Actually, I've been watching a lot of trial lately, and there's one lawyer who literally sounds like Dr. Phil. So I feel like I've, like, been listening to him a lot. So maybe that's some of that. <laughs> what? Oh. Sit in your bed. Are you snooping? What? She can't decide what she wants. It's like me when Ben asked me, what do I want for dinner? What do you want? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Your next accent should be California Valley Girl. I don't watch enough trash to know how to do that one effectively. Like, Ben's been watching a lot of the, uh, what do you call them? Like, the homes, or the, the shows based in real estate 
the Orange County bullshit where there's like a bunch of ladies who just want to socialize, but also maybe they sell homes. Like he washes that. So he'd probably know better how to do that accident. <laughs> accident. <laughs> I mean, accent. Um, Selling Sunset, yeah. It's like, oh my God, like I can't believe that listing was like only 8 million, like ew. <laughs> Not for me. Yikes. Something like that. That's like Kim Kardashian, kind of. Nobody wants to work anymore. That's my favorite line. I love that line. Whenever I feel like uh, not working, I just say that in my head. It's good. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. fuck is this? Snoop's best friend. That's a key? That is the... I've never seen a key like this in my life. It's a fancy-ass key. Pick up? Okay, I guess we're stealing the key. Just get your vocal fry way up. Oh my god. Uh, you're so annoying. Uh, stop. Uh, <laughs> don't tell me and my sister talk to each other. Okay. Oh, we already read this. Is that I snakes that really stand the test of time. Snakes and ladders. I, I had used this. To play this with mom all the time. I had this as a child. I some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Funny how some games really oh, stand the test of time. Oh, it's all the same thing. Shut up. I used to play this with mom all the time. Another Bible. It's actually a rule in America. If you don't put a Bible in every Actually, this is Canada. What the fuck am I saying? It's a rule in the 1950s and and or in America, okay? If it, whether it was the 1950s or it's just America, it's a rule that you have to have a Bible in the in the every hotel room. That's like one of my favorite things to discover whenever we go to the states and we stay in a different hotel. It's always like, is there a Bible in the nightstand? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me why I find this amusing. There's still Bibles in Quebec. I believe it. In Quebec. Uh, oh, look at this. Adam or Eve. <laughs> Definitely not and. Just or. Can she resist the ultimate temptation? Brigitte Bozuel, a confession of shocking and forbidden love. Okay, let's read this. I need to know. Should Rose stay in the marriage that no longer makes her happy or seek refuge in the arms of the woman who truly understands that we have another gay book. <laughs> she has tasted the forbidden fruit years ago, and now she is all she can think of. But what will her family and society as a whole think of her if she turns to a life of sin? Should she be condemned for even entertaining the thought of leaving her husband or pitied for having to make such a heartbreaking decision? Brigitte Boswell is prolific author behind novels such as And There Were Roommates! <laughs> we read that book. And The Lonely Girl. Adam Arrive is her seventh novel. Sick. That's Scarlett Johansson. She plays the lead. It's funny how that's like hidden and then the Bible's right there. <laughs> I love the juxtaposition. They're just roommates, guys. Should I? I don't want to use the phone. What the hell? Okay. So a husband can abuse his wife and just what? get away with it? And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong? Ugh. We are woke, Sophie. Okay. Richards and Carter, attorneys at law. This is from Howard. Is Howard French? Doesn't sound like a French name. I need to know what Howard is. I I feel like I'm having trouble remembering who is everyone. Okay? You know what I mean? I'm not good at that when I'm in the middle of reading letters. <laughs> who is Howard? He's the insurance card guy, right? Like it's his name on the insurance thingy? M and H. Marcella and Howard? No. See? No. Hector's not Howard. Yes. Yeah, see? Okay, there. The age. Why do they pick 
two H's. What are the red exclamation things? Oh, I'll show you in a second. It's just, um, tells us like the recap. So there's Hector, which is Hector and Marcella, and that's M and H or H and M, you know, if you still shop there. But this is Howard. Who is Howard? Connie. <laughs> I don't know if Connie's in this chat or if she just watches later. Are they siblings or are they dating? I do not know. On sait pas. I don't think we know yet. Okay, maybe we don't. Anne's lawyer could be. All right. Howard doesn't sound like a French person, so I'll just be a man. Dear Anne, I've met with Lewis, and he has asked me to give you the enclosed letter. I think I should reiterate that some of your accusations, such as wife abuse, are not grounds for divorcing Quebec. In Quebec. Do you think it was grounds for divorce in Ontario at the time? I don't know my history. But, like, they're being specific, I assume, for a reason. Is divorce, I guess it's provincial in Canada. I don't really know. But it's like one of the fewer things that are province, AKA state-based, as opposed to national. Like most of our laws that matter are national. But in the states, most shit is state-based. So them saying this in Quebec I'm like trying to remember. I guess technically it is the province because it's like kind of low stakes to people. Or you know what I mean? It's like whatever. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. I understand you are hurt, but I do not think antagonizing your husband is very wise at the moment. You're her lawyer, right? This is her, this is Anne's lawyer, Mr. Howard. And is Lewis her husband? Because it says, I've met with Lewis and he's asked me to give you the enclosed letter. Well, that's fucking crazy. What about client attorney privileged? I guess it doesn't matter when you're a woman and you are the property of the man because marriage, duh. <laughs> Nobody wants to be property anymore. <laughs> okay, so do not forget to be in court at 11 a.m. on the 20th. Be on time. Also, a friendly reminder that my fees for January need to be paid before the end of this month. I'm happy to help out, but I cannot work pro bono on this. I'm just going to do your husband some favors, not you. So what was the enclosed letter? That was the enclosed letter? I'm calling the police. Just kidding. They won't do anything. What is that? Greta? It's a dog collar. Um, this is what this does. It just says, let the snooping commence. And then this Let's is what this does. Let's find out what this key unlocks. So, yes, I know I have a key, but I'm not done snooping. So I can use the phone, but I feel like I don't want to quite yet. Oh, this is what the key unlocks. Uh, I'll need another key to unlock this. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? No. Nobody wants to stay in a married abusive relationship anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I read that from the chat. It made me laugh. Okay, I can't um, unlock this. I need two keys. That's some bullshit. Have we seen the other key? I have not. I have not seen the other key. Oh, is that it? Those few coins in my tip jar were getting pretty low. Oh, I just stole money. the company. Oh, I took that money. I didn't even mean to. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. Okay, thank God. It was meant for me. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, God. Okay. Dear Sophie, thank you so much for taking care of our room every day and bringing us extra sheets. 
Michael and I wanted to give you a little something before we left. Sincerely, A. Okay, okay, okay. Thank God. Whew. Good Lord. That look in your eyes. What does it mean? To all reception staff. <gasps> This is either Andrew or Beth. Who's our bestie? What's our work bestie's name? This is either work bestie or redhead Andrew. Right? Because it's a piece of paper from the hotel that says to reception staff. So it's probably one of them. There is no selection mode. Oh, there is. Either a guest got a hold of our stationery, or this came from someone on the staff. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out myself. <laughs> Was it ten? <laughs> okay. You don't need to know my name, but you've seen me. I've recognized that look in your eyes when you checked in. <sighs> you and I don't need to make a fuss out of this. You keep your wits about you, and I'll do the same. What does that mean? Keep your wits about you. Mm. Like, don't talk? Okay. So it's either Beth or Andrew. Tintin or work bestie. And they're communicating with the mother, Anne, I think. It could also be a random guest who just stole paper from the receptionist staff, but we need to think about this. You know, we need to, we need to remember this moment and not trust no one. Okay, letter from no name. This letter has been sent to you and has been around the world three times. Oh my god, it's an email from my grandma. Guys, it's chain mail. The one who breaks the chains will have bad luck. <laughs> so that's my grandma's voice. Mr. Smith received the letter in 1953, made 33 copies and sent them. Three days later, he won the lottery. Mr. Jones received it in 1956, made 33 copies and sent them. Three days later, he discovered an old treasure in his backyard. <laughs> Mr. Williams received the letter and burned it. His wife and three kids died in a fire that very night. Mr. Green forgot the letter in a drawer and lost his job. When he found the letter again, he got a better job than before. In no case should this chain be broken. <laughs> Make 33 copies and send them right now. <laughs> you will experience great joy within three days. Signed, the blue-eyed girl when she's 84. I used to get so scared of these. Literally, like, so did I when I was, like, 14. And they'd send these around. I feel like part of my cohort's intelligence comes from this this is going to sound really dumb to anyone who's like Gen Z and thinks that we are dumb dumb. Fair. But uh, I think I got smarter <laughs> when I was 14 and I got emails like this. And I remember being like, this doesn't make sense. And it actually made me smarter and able to identify bullshit in email format. That something my parents could not identify. They didn't know if it was a fake bank scam that says you need to log into your account through this link or else the CRA will take all of your money. <laughs> you have seven days to respond. <laughs> or send all your money to this obscure country you have, you've never heard of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like millennials got smarter by being literal children learning this being suspicious because that's what kids are and like having to tell their parents their that their parents are dumb <laughs> right like i've definitely helped my grandmother like you know when she's you know had cards stolen over the years I'd be like no don't why did you no <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. 
Anyways. Oh, it's scratched off. The wind in the leaves that day made a sound that sounded like... A sound that sounded like, really, Anne? The wind in the leaves that day made the tree whistle a soft melody that came to my car? Or probably ear, but it's strike through. I remember every part of this day, for it was the day we met. Jesus, this is bad. I was looking for my cat <laughs> when I heard the sound of the leaves blowing in the wind like a melody to my car. Or ear. On this summer day where I met you. Okay, she's trying to be romantic and she's like, I'm literally cringing. I'm so cringe. That key looks so familiar. <gasps> hints. Why do I associate it with room Thank you. 505? Thank you for giving me hints because I'm a dumb dumb. 505. We're going. After I l look in this bathroom. And clean this toilet. Don't let me forget to go to room 505. <laughs> What is this? It's a mashes. Disgusting. Hold on, we must clean the bath. Did you clean your room today? Why are these toenail clippers right there? Don't clip your nails while they're wet. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Can I put these away? No. Rude. Can I pee? No. Sexist. Pick up? Sure. Looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Beaumont. Burn. Look at the puppy. Is that a wedding ring? <gasps> Tea. Throw it away. Oh, look. What if I just hit throw away? Would that be like kind of funny? <laughs> He's all but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. Wait, it's actually in French, but it's giving me English? No, I want to read the French. Je viens de rencontrer ton maudit avocat. Okay, I'm going to see if I remember French. I just came from meeting your bad lawyer, or like, annoying lawyer. Tu as de... Hilo? Culo de m'accuser de toutes ces choses-là. Comme... So you have, um, like, the gall to accuse me of all that shit. Comme si tu étais si irreprochable toi-même. Like, as if you were so good yourself, basically. Penses-tu que je ne sais pas où tu passes tes nuits? Don't you think I know, or I don't know where you spend your nights? T. Mais le pur, le pur, le pur dans tout cela, c'est que tu m'empêches de voir mon fils. Que tu refuses même de me dire où il se trouve. But the worst of it is that you s prevent me from seeing my son and that you refuse even to let me know where he is. Or tell me where he is. Si tu penses que tu vas ré réussir à en avoir la garde, tu me connais très mal. If you think you will be successful at holding him from me, I think, or like guarding him from me, then you don't know me well. Or you you know me poorly. Je ne te laisserai pas m'enlever, Michel. I will not let you take away Michael. Okay, let's see if I did that correctly. Ready? I just met with your damn lawyer. You've got some balls to accuse me of all that. As if you were so irrepro... That's a bad translation. Irreproachable yourself. Do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? But worst of all is that if you won't let me see my son, you won't even tell me where he is. If you think you have a chance to get cus oh, custody. I didn't know that word. You really don't know me well. I won't let you take Michael away from me. I got it. I just got an A on translation. I missed like one word, but you know. I just have to practice French. It's been a while. <laughs> what? Is this lipstick or bullet? 
probably lipstick. A minus. Oh, I tried so hard. <laughs> I only got custody wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we can go to room 505, correct? Look at all the shit in my inventory. How come there's no one in the hallways ever? Also, we should drop this off. Oh, and the, the tea mugs. Drop the tea mugs off. Where is 505? Oh, I think it's the other way. Oh, on y va. On y va, tout le monde. Viens ici. Au revoir, Snoopy. Okay, there's another key in this room. I don't remember this. Do you recall this? Does anyone remember seeing a key? A fancy key that looks like a wing? This is uh, not a Bible, it is birds. No hints there. Is it in the safe? Hmm. We could check. Did I already open it and just like leave it open? There was a gun in the safe. Ay ay ay. No, it, this is just film and a gun. That's fun. That's nice. Just a gun in Canada. C'est interdit. On top of the TV. Oh, Jater. <gasps> They're correct. That doesn't look like the same type of key. I don't think I'll need this again. No. Do not forget to take your pills. Thank you. I will take my vitamins in the morning. <gasps> I'm a sock. Okay, let's try. Um, hmm. Mer. Mer. Let's go to the bathroom. Hello? The fuck? Did they not fix the glitch? Oh, there. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot. How could I forget? There were used to be pictures of, of me that I threw away. Do you see any keys? No. Pills? It said it was room 505. That's where I am, right? <laughs> okay. <gasps> Is that it? No, that's the room to... That's the key to this room. Do not forget to buy more film. We've already snooped this guy's room, but I'm told there's a key in here, and I don't know if they are lying to me. Mm, I should wait till I have more to report before calling Beth. The 
floor somewhere. That's just this thing. Check the safe again, Anka. Pourquoi? We already check it. Do, do I have to look inside of these? With Marcella. And God knows where she is. What? Clarington Hotel reception desk. What? Beth speaking. Hey, Beth. Bean, I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, about what? Well, a little birdie told me Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cruz had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who's your little birdie? Jacques. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And listen to this. It sounds like I was on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Wanna guess what it is? I don't know if I trust our work bestie. Just always be suspicious of everyone in life. That's the best advice I can give you. Kawabunga? A fair black veil. Wanna guess what it is? Uh, was cowabunga a word in the 50, 50s? I feel like it shouldn't be a word. Should we just say it? See what happens? Um, cowabunga? <laughs> what? Why would Mr. Cruz and Mr. Morgan use the word cowabunga while arguing? <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, right. <laughs> well, the correct answer, Miss Roy, is affair. Affair? Hmm. Did Jack hear anything else? From what he told me, it seemed like Mr. Cruz was accusing Mr. Morgan of having an affair with his wife. Wouldn't have expected Mrs. Cruz to fall for a man like Morgan, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. Oh, and the other one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Wait, so Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that are both needed to open a mysterious chest? Yeah, let's steal it yeah, from them. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Answers in the chest. Yeah, but the answers probably lie in that chest, and I don't think I'll be able Just to open it. Just steal it off her while she's sleeping. I looked around room 509. Duh. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, yeah. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, hold on. I may have an idea. Get me a candle and some plaster, and maybe I can what? do something about that pesky chest. Girl. How? I'll tell you later. Destruction of Just property. Just find me those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I manage to leave my post. All right. Thank you for not giving up. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you down. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you get fired alone. Let's get fired together, bestie. Oh, woohoo! Let's get a candle and break into the client's property. <laughs> Okay, so I think what happened is that photo had her wearing the key, right? Yes, she's wearing the key in the picture. That's why we had to check the safe. And now we're gonna make a key. Getting crafty. Okay, so plaster shouldn't be hard to find in a hotel that's undergoing renovation. So I need plaster and a candle. Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. I should be able to find plaster somewhere around here. Um, hello? Anyone got any plaster? Who are these random rooms? Like, you know? 
This game is too distracting. Like, what is hmm. this? Only men's. Oh life. yeah, we've been in here Are before. You for a business trip, maybe? Okay, plaster. God damn it. How come I can't go this way? Stupid. Stupid. Okay, it's probably in the basement, right? No, wait, no. There's like pain and shit over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, c'est quoi ça? That's a paintbrush, not a plaster. It's not pas la même chose. Oh, desk lamps. You could uh, shoot your nails. Th those aren't desk lamps. They're like pendants for the wall, but whatever. Okay, who has plaster? That tool at the bottom. Is that how you plaster things? <laughs> Hello? Do we have any carpenters in the chat? Eugene's a pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Plaster? Plaster? Hey guys, do you want to get lits? Do you want to get lits this weekend? What is lits? Okay, we might have to go to the basement. I think that was a rasp. It's called a square. It's a nail file. Oh my god. None of you. I trust none of you. <laughs> my husband is a plasterer, so I'm an expert. Let's get plastered. With the renovations, there has to be plaster somewhere on this floor. I should grab some before going down. Where? Uh, C'est où ça? Le plaster. Uh. Why would it randomly be in a room? Oh boy. What the fuck is Someone's this? Been living it up. Oh my god. Look at the mess. This after party. Do I have to clean it? I don't wanna. Do you think there's plaster in here? I only wanna go here if there's plaster. I need to stay on task. Caution wet floor. What? Do you think they like stole the shit? Not exactly a cherished gift. He just left it behind like this. Leanne, love Gregory. Okay, I'm I'm too busy. Oh my god. This game is so annoying. <laughs> Close the door. Okay, but like I feel like I'm a bad mate if I enter a room and I don't clean it up, you know what I mean? Like, look, look, look at the amazing shit I just did. Is there anything in this vent? Mm, no. Take down your stupid hearts. And your red balloon. Let me clean it. That's freaky. All that's missing are the pillows. How come I can't fix that crooked picture? Oh, there we go. I just want the bonus points for being a good maid. Okay. That's what I would like. I also need an excuse, should anyone walk in. Another Bible. Turn off that annoying television. Okay, anything else to clean? Does everything look clean? Yes. That's not clean. Gossiper. Another fan of the gossiper. I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago. Gracie now. Jones dirty little secrets exposed. The untold story behind Frankie and Ava's divorce. All you need to know about the Presley scandal. Is Liz bankrupting Mike? Dean knew he had a date with death. 
Raphael Cosmetics, a lipstick that lasts all the way down to the red carpet. Worried about smudges? Fear not, Raphael boasts a kiss-proof formula. Ensuring your enchanting allure lasts from dusk until dawn. Is this the copy from the After Party collection? <laughs> from dusk till dawn. Uh, mine is the, like, kissing, kiss-proof formula. Okay, don't kiss your nail polish, don't eat it, don't lick it, you know. We enjoy your lips are always camera ready, snap breathtaking photographs that immortalize your beauty. Beauty. And uh, just be like the glamorous Hollywood star. Let's give your lips the Hollywood treatment with this new shade, Hill Wish He Stayed. <laughs> okay. Wow. Incredible. This is the revenge lipstick. Okay, ladies, listen up. All right, with this new shade, he'll wish he stayed. That's right. You get that specific color red on your lips, and he will immediately wish that he did not, not divorce you because divorce is illegal, so it's not about that, but, you know. <laughs> the, definitely. Please screenshot this for future inspo. I think I'm going to put that face on our collection box. So what do you think? He'll never deny you a kiss with lips as red as this. Do people want to kiss people with a bunch of lipstick on? Like, I don't. Right? Am I wrong? I don't... Do you want to kiss people who are wearing, like, a fuck ton of pigmented color on their mouth? I don't want to. <laughs> I'm just like, that, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I don't want to get that all over my face. <laughs> Why would you want that? Like, lip chat, that's fine. You know, some oil, whatever. It just makes it soft. That's all good. But, uh, some luscious hot red lipstick? Like, not really. No, thank you. Get ready to pucker up with Raphael's lipstick collection and vivid hues of scarlet reds and blushing pinks. These magical lipsticks exude an aura of irresistible allure that will leave hearts throbbing. Raw. Raphael Cosmetics. Thank you, Jess Z Z Z Z. What? Which? What's the one the Americans use? I don't remember. Merci beaucoup pour cinq gifted memberships to Manchi Gang. Manchi Gang, Manchi Gang, Manchi Gang, Manchi Gang, Manchi Gang. <laughs> okay, stop distracting me. Fuck. <sighs> Another thing to read. Discover historic and gay Montreal. Photographs, maps, information, and more. <laughs> Oh my God, what is all of this? This is like a conversation going back and forth though. I need to know. Who's writing this? Leanne? And someone else? These look like Valley Girls, right? Did he really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear. That's more like Valley Canadian girls, kind of, you know? Okay, I'll try and do the the vocal fry. I know. I thought he'd appreciate us trying to make conversation. <laughs> That's so bad. Thank God for good old fashioned pen and paper at least. Yeah, it takes me back. At least Sister Gabrielle isn't here to confiscate them anymore. <laughs> A hint of trim trim. So like I was saying, are you ready for your week-long bridal shower, Mrs. Hubert? Stop it, Simone. I'm not Mrs. until we walk down the aisle. And this week is for thinking about anything but that. What? That's right. We're making the most of this week before I lose you to the jaws of married life. I would never. I won't be another Andrea. I promise. Leanne, he's going to kick us out if you keep making me laugh. <laughs> The Montreal Tourism Association, 1957-1958. What are we reading? I have no fucking clue. What did I just read? 
I got I got dumb dumb. <laughs> what did I just read? What? Is that Troom Troom? Just two seven year olds, I think, talking to each other. That's what I got. Okay. Susan, merci pour cinq gifted memberships à Moshi Gang. Moshi Gang, Moshi Gang, Moshi Gang, Moshi Gang, Moshi Gang. Okay, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire? Did I look at all the drawers? What the fuck am I doing in here? I do not check the bathroom. <gasps> what? How come the bottle gets to go pee? And not me. Are they using the toilet as an ice bucket? That's disgusting. Dégoutante. Qu'est-ce que fuck? This is the butter service that I will serve you on uh, this week weekend. Um. So this bottle service went down the toilet. That's a big ass toilet roll. Right? Like it's so big. Was toilet rolls larger in the 50s? behind this she stepped in chocolate <laughs> it's a chocolate dip shoe sorry for the mess why would you make a mess and write sorry you dum dum oh my god je déteste you're making out with a mirror disgusting how old are you? Okay, I need plaster. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Give me plaster. Say no to divorce. No divorce. It's illegal. <laughs> this is my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like you have the say no to drugs, and then you also have say I'm no sure to divorce. I'm sure find more laundry to add to the pile. Say no to drugs, say no, what? I could go in here and it's blocking me? Fuck, how do I move this? I wanna go in the vents. What? Let me in, let me in! Okay, I need plaster. Oh, is this paint or plaster? No, that's paint. That's garbage. What is this? <gasps> Great, this takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles, doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? Okay, it took me like 27 minutes to find the plaster. It's fine. Get plastered, okay. Plaster should be in a bag. I have no idea what plaster is. I always thought it was like in a tub. Like a tub of plaster. No? If it's in a bag, what's the difference between plaster and flour? Ew, was that a rat? Oh my god, I just saw a rat. Okay, so we think it's in Beth's locker. Wait, where are the other lockers? Oh, in here. I'm thinking of spackle. What is a spackle? Whose purse is this? Hold on. Is there anything you might have said or done to anger him? What do you say? That I deserve this? No, no, of course not. All I need to say is that maybe from his perspective, well, uh, oh, never mind. 
of what are you going to do next? Uh, I, well, uh, I don't know what on earth is going on. Wait, it says I didn't Did prevent him. Am I supposed to do something? It, there's no actions. Tempting, but every penny adds up, so Hold on. Beth? Oh, don't even get me started on Beth. Oh, and that maid? What's her name? Sylvie? I never noticed how odd she is. Sophie, you mean? I like her. She's a good girl. I like her. I should call the city. Tell them they don't need to build that new madhouse next door. <laughs> There's one right here. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm here, aren't I? Good one. Uh, come here. Let me help you forget about all that for a minute. Ew. Disgusting. Uh, okay, Rebecca, we need your locker. Oh, it's right here. Uh oh, it's a glitch. So you do have a stash of candles. Okay. But where is it? Okay. Rebecca, the kitchen is out of power again, and I can barely see a thing. Bernard wants us to continue working, but I'm not risking chopping off my fingers for that blowhard. Didn't you start hoarding candles since the last power outage? I remember you saying you never wanted to be caught in the dark basement again. Where's your stash? It's urgent, please. Bobby. This doesn't help me. What does this say? Anything to do with candles? No. How come I... There, now I can see. Okay, so I can't select anything. Are those junior mints? <laughs> I used to eat those at the movies. Okay, that didn't help me. The kitchen? Check Bobby's locker. Bobby? Bobby. I'm gonna break into your locker. Why is there so much stuff? There is too many stuff. Anthony, Jacques, Babe. Oops. No candles, but this looks like the. Is this a map room. to the candles? Fuck off! Really? Is it really? <laughs> a map of the laundry room. That must be the location of Rebecca's stash. What am I looking at? Did she say laundry room? That must be the location of Rebecca's stash. What? Kaskifuki? Did she say laundry room? I'm going crazy. Why would she do that? I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. Remember that picture in your minds? So, so what do I have to do? Laundry room. Oh, right. My keys are still in the break room. <laughs> Fuck. Um, uh, um, uh, where are my keys? Is this the break room or the locker room? What is my name? Is it in my locker? Oh, I can place a tip though. Hold on. Look, place my tips. All right, we're getting somewhere. Hee hee hee. Now to resist the temptation to spend it on a burger at Harry's. Have I checked the break room? I think I left my keys there during my break. The break room. Oh, this is the break room. Tempting, but 
tempting, but mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Apologize. I'm not the one who should be apologizing. <laughs> you idiot. I can't believe that I fell in love with you. Wait. What? I, I want my mother's ring back. <laughs> there. I don't want it. Oh, boohoo, qu'est-ce que fuck. Didn't he cheat on her? I can't remember. I can't keep track who's cheating on who anymore. Okay, where are my keys? Guys, stay focused. Fuck. <laughs> where are my keys? Where are my keys? I do not know where I put them. Did I even put them anywhere? Or is this game fucking around? Oh my god, what is this? Uh, <gasps> to all employees. It looks like the top half of the same thing. We need to read this! It's from Bernard Le Duc Hotel, manager to all employees. It has come to my attention that several guests have complained about a member of our staff. Going to their belongings in their absence. This has to stop maintenant. That is us. We are going through their belongings. Anyone with information regarding this situation should come to my office as soon as possible. I want the person behind this swiftly identified and reprimanded. Should no one come very well, but well, <laughs> within a week, uh, punitive measures will be taken against all of you. Every single one of you will be fired, and I will run this hotel by myself. <laughs> Watch me. Merci, Bernard Le Duc Hotel Manager. Gestionnaire. Okay, and on the back, Bobby, you realize it's the person with the lowest score who wins, right? Were we, like, playing bingo or some shit? Okay, where are my keys? I'm doing my best. To stay focused. It's this game is testing me, <laughs> like like no other game has tested me before. Oh look at this! It's a beautiful devil. Sandra always greets clients with a fuck. No fork. <laughs> that it said fuck. Be like Satan. <laughs> That's hilarious. I laugh so hard. Well, there's another one. It's your job to prank others. What are what are we seven? What is this YouTube 2016? To whoever keeps stealing my lunch, I want my Tupperware back, Susan. Okay, literally, where are my keys? Are they in the sink? That's a spoon. That's a weird place to put an oven. Wait, that's not an oven. A stove. Hot plates. Coils. In the fridge? Why would we put a key in the fridge? I can't open the fridge, so it's not the fridge. Oh my god, give me the fucking key. Or I will key your car. Can I call someone for help? No. Did I put it in the trash? Tempting, but every penny adds <gasps> up, Sophie. Is that a rat? Oh my god, it's a baby rat! Hi! Look. Look! Oh, maybe he took my key. Okay, what the fuck? On the table. Which table? I see cards and cups. 
Don't worry, Gossip. Oh, I see it. I'm coming oh back. Oh my to god. You. Oh I still my. haven't learned all of Gracie Jones' secrets. <laughs> Hold on to these tight. Oh, that's so like hard to find, you know. Pet the rat, it's Menchie. Manchi, viens ici, mon petit chéri. Oui, oui, oui. Okay, what the fuck was I doing? It would make sense for Rebecca to keep her candles by her workstation. Are we supposed to go in the laundry room though? Isn't that why I got the key? Is this Rebecca's workstation? Why am I here? I need candles? What do I need candles for again? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Holy shit the Okay, let's read. This says Rebecca, so I think we're on the right track. This is from Eugene, who's gonna be fired. Rebecca, the washing machines are not working. The problem comes from the pipes. They're completely frozen. Uh, it's only a matter of time before they burst and flood the entire basement. <laughs> I'm sorry if like that you literally can't understand it. My accent has gotten too heavy. I warned Bernard about this issue last winter, but of course he only cares about renovating the parts of the hotel the guests can see behind that. Nice facade, everything is crumbling. Uh, I'll see what I can do, but it's not my dance one need. It's a freaking miracle, Eugene. Is this Silo? Guys, you seen that Apple show, I think, called Silo? We're the main character, and we gotta, like, you know, make the Silo work at the machinery at the basement level. <laughs> Look at us go. Actually, I would not trust me with that. Everyone would die. Okay. Où sont les chandelles? Oh, is this a, a movie script? Change title, not catchy enough. In a northwesterly direction. Screenplay by E.L. Eugene. Silo is so good, right? I need more of it now. I also need, um... Fuck, Ben, what's the one that we watched that was also really good on Apple that no one's heard of? Uh, the one with Adam Scott. Where he, like, splits his mind between work and home so good i'm i'm terrible for not remembering it severance yeah there severance <laughs> yeah it's very very good that severance silo basically things that start with s are good handmaid's tale starts with a t if it's the handmaid's tale so whatever but there's an s in handmaids conspiracy <laughs> what else is good the is Silo similar to Severance? Um, mm, yes and no. It's, it's more dystopian, but in a less mundane way. Any show with an S is good, including this one. Okay, needs more murders. I agree. This video game could use more murders. <laughs> Add a killer tornado question mark? No, that's boring. Why cut the scene inside the nose? What? Best part of the script. What? That's weird. See if James Stewart is available. Two sixteen. Is that a hollow toggle launch? What? <laughs> You'll never know if I meant February or the 16th month in the year. Movie script, 20 cents and loose change cigarette pack, red lion. Oh, I've seen all these things. What is this sneaky looking door? 
Okay, literally, where are the candles? Oh my god, don't make me go through all these fucking cabels to find the le chandelle. Do you think my French teacher would be proud of me or mad at me? <gasps> Is that my tea? Mm. She'd probably be proud that I'm using my wrench, but also mad that I'm not putting it to good use. <laughs> Dommage! Oh, candle, candle, candle! Stash uncovered. Fab, you got a candle. Now, what next? Can I just leave all the cupboards open? Like a maniac? Yeah, yes. I come to your house and open all your cupboards. What do you do? Be honest. What do you do? Okay. That's what I do. You invite me to your house. I, I do this for you. You're welcome. I won't even charge. Offer you tea? Good answer. Panic? No need to panic. <gasps> there you are. Cutscene. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, Me neither. When I was little, we had padlocks on many of the farm's sheds. My dad would always lose the keys, so one day he made a mold of them using wax and plaster. I was thinking of doing the same. Are you sure it's gonna work? Criminelle. Absolutely not. But hey, I guess we won't know until we try. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this. Okay. Ugh. To start, we no, need no, to no. pour the wax from the pot. What? You're gonna trick me into cooking? I do not like this. I do not like it at one bit. Okay, choose an item and press A to select it. I do not want to do chores. Okay. Hold on. That's not what's next. Oh. Follow the instructions, ah. Sophie. Hold on. What? That's not what's next. That's Have you nail done oil. This before? You're a real pro. Warm up your nail oil. <laughs> now, time to put the key into the wax. Don't do, for legal reasons, don't do that. I don't know what that does. Let's give it a few seconds so the mold really takes form. Nail oil your keys. Okay. I Make them nice and it. smooth. Well, we're almost there. Just pour the cup of plaster into the mold. Pour the cup of plaster into the mold. Whoa! That's white stuff. All right. Do not drink it. Now we wait for it to dry. How long do you think it's going to take? About 10 no, minutes no, no. by the time you get back to the we'll first keep nail. Poking it every now and then. <laughs> Don't I bet poke you didn't at it. I think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? <laughs> Indeed. We're sitting on the counter. But I like it. It's rare that this job allows me to use my creative side. Paint your nails. Side. Well, granted, this key won't end up in any museum, but I enjoy the occasional artistic endeavor. Like drawing or like making collages? Why is this a choice? I feel like they should give me a better schwa. Okay. Maybe, uh, hmm. Collages? Like collages? That one's yours, right? Yeah. I like to take fashion magazines and fix their lack of vision. Their lack of vision? I just think that fashion designers have been getting pretty lazy and bland lately. Don't get me wrong, my own creations are often a mess. Let's but see I it. I like to think I'm good at editing. Final Cut Pro? Putting things together to make them shine. Using filters? I promise, underneath this terribly designed uniform, there is a girl with taste. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a judge. I've never seen you outside of work. I prefer tabloids to fashion magazines. Why would anyone ever say that sentence? I prefer tabloids to fashion magazines. I don't prefer either. What the fuck? I believe you, but I've never actually seen you outside of work. Oh God, that's true. Well, we have to Let's go that. drinking, girl. Now that we're solving a mystery together, we yeah. may as well grab drinks too. What do you say? I say let's go. It's the hard option. Chat goes wild. Yeah, we should. I don't know why we never thought of it before. 
Well, it's this place, you know. When your shift's over, you just want to forget everything. Let's about get plastered. Yeah, I know what you mean. Come on, but girls. Some things are worth remembering. Grab the disco dust. Woohoo! I'll get bottle service. Oh, woohoo! I could not have done this without you. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, She's I proud. should get back upstairs before Bernard notices my absence. If he hasn't already. And I'll meet you at Let the me after party. This Saturday. Oh, and uh, be at careful. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard okay? Time. You wouldn't want it to break inside the lock. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thank you for everything. No problem. I like this side of Simply. What, the drunk girl energy? You should have seen me. 14 years ago. <laughs> like, how old am I? Ew. I've got two Ugh. keys. Now, let's test them out. Oh, we got to clean. That was easy. Okay, finally, no distractions. I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. I will go upstairs and ignore everything else that stands in my way. I am a woman on a mission. And my mission is to get divorced. <laughs> you will not stop me. I will get a divorce. I'm not even married and I will get divorced. That's how determined I am as a woman in Montreal in 1950. I will be the first woman who is never married to get divorced. <laughs> Say yes to divorce. Oh, uh, what room is the key in? Was it this one? Fuck, I do not remember. It was not, nope, 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 nope. 507, merci chatte, chatte, chat. Did you know that chat in French is cat? You're all cats. Getting a proactive divorce, exactement, bibi, shrimpy. Shrimpy. Oh, we are going the wrong way. If you get divorced before you are married, then you never have to get divorced. You see what I'm saying? It is très intelligent. Actually, that makes no sense. It's, if you don't get married, then there is no divorce. <laughs> Ooh la la. Okay. Be careful, Sophie. You don't want this key to break. What? Is that a threat? Uh oh. So she, I, there's a chance I won't do this correctement. Hold RT and move to turn the key. Oh no. Uh oh. Which way? Right. Oh shoot. Oh, still worked. That's stupid. <laughs> stupid. They just wanted to fuck me up. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. Okay, who, 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 what are we reading again? Do you see the problem? How it's been like an hour of like trying to open this fucking logbox. Et puis, j'oublie tout ce que je fais. In Atlanta, I noticed yours was pretty worn down. So I decided to buy you a new one. I hope you like it. And since you enjoy them so much, here's a little puzzle to figure out the combination. Two five letter words are the key. Both related to our history. Hmm. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. What? Her alliterature name? Alliterature? Alliterative name will surely take you back. Oh, fuck. This is uh, very hard on my little brain. <laughs> my brain is this big right now. I will rely on chat and we will definitely succeed, right? I can't read this text. Here you go.
You know what my um, great uncle used to say? Like the a boomer, you know, a boomer. He used to tell this what he thought was a joke. He'd be like, uh, three men and a horse walk into a bar. What do they say?" And you're like, "I don't care what." And he goes, "Ow." And now that I think about it, it sounds like a joke Ben would say. It's a very bad, not funny joke. And you know what's funnier? Is that older men in my family, when they heard a bad joke like that, would follow that with funny as a crutch. And then you'd be like, what? And then, and then they'd be like, yeah, a crutch isn't funny. And this is where my life confusion comes from. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I'm just like, I don't even understand, like, what, where you're going, like, what is happening? Who raised me? <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Anyways. That's why my sense of humor is broken too, Jay. Now you understand. I thought you said crunch and you were talking about the chocolate bars. No, crutch. Like, I guess because it just represents an innocuous object. So why would it be funny? Like, you could replace it with the word chair. Like, it wouldn't matter. Just like funny as a chair. And then someone's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. Ha ha ha. Okay, anyways, do we know anything? Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Bar. I don't know. This is a tricky one. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. So it's an alliteration to the first word, I guess. There are two five letter words, both related to our history. From the first one, take the first two letters. From the last one, take the last two letters. And then you have a four letter word. Let me guess, love. <laughs> Do we know the name of his favorite bar? Hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's more stuff to do. So. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Oh yeah, this is... there's a lot of stuff in here. How do I exit? I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Damn it! It's stuck. Should I throw this out so she doesn't see? I hope you get a letter. Try to rest today. I will bring you hot soup after class. M. Give me that hot soup. Oh, I could use some hot soup. Ben, do we have any soup? I want to be French and drink my French onion soup. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Oh, oh I see. I have to keep clicking. I invited you to the movies. Okay. Let me guess. You said yes. Okay. Uh, the postman reads the rings twice. That's not the, that was hard to say. Is playing at Los Theater tonight. It's based on a novel I read a while back. I'm sure you would love it, seeing as you like crime stories and murders so much. Nothing creepy about that. Will you come with me? On movies tickets, Lowell's Theater, Montreal, Canada, 25 sous. Only 25 cents. Formidable. Okay, what's this? Another riddle? Ay, ay, ay. I can barely listen to Sister Miller's lecture today. In secret language, all I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. I can't wait for tonight, M. So this has a the code shit. And I guess they decoded it and wrote on the letter. Oh my god, so much reading. Doris Day. 
That's an alliteration. D D. Doris. I. -S. Disco dust. Doris I S. Okay, so that that was the clue. I think that was the clue. August 11th, 1946, dear Anne. I have just heard Doris Day on the radio and made me think of you. I know how much you love a sentimental journey. Counting every mile of a railroad track. That takes me back. I don't even, I don't know what song this is. Do you know what song this is? It's from 1950s. You probably don't know what song this is. Isn't 1950s music public domain now? Or is that 100 years? I can't remember the rules on that. Last time I was in Texas, it felt like coming home. Now, strangely, I feel away from home. I wish you were here with me. I always feel at home in your arms. I can hardly believe it. It's been five weeks since we last saw each other. Sometimes I wonder if I might be going crazy. You are always in my head. Everything reminds me of you. Not only songs on the radio, but silly things like the flowers in our, flowers in our garden, the smell of your shampoo, or when people say the word darling. And I can hear you saying your lovely French accent, darling. <laughs> darling. <laughs> See, they roll the R's. I'm not making that shit up. My family seems to have noticed my odd behavior, but I, of course, cannot tell them about you. Even though I wish I could. I feel like climbing on the roof of the tallest building in Austin. Do you think this person is Texan? Am I doing the wrong accent? I feel... Like, I don't know. Is this the Texan? I'm shutting my feelings for you at the top of my lungs. God, I sound like a giddy teenager in love for the first time. Maybe I am. Sometimes I'm scared that with all this time uh, with you uh, was nothing but a dream. A dream too good to be true. That's such an English sentence. I'm afraid that when I return to Montreal, I will realize you never existed. Or if you do exist, you do not remember me. I wish I had a picture of the two of us so I would know for sure it was real. I long for your embrace and the taste of your sweet lips. I love you. Je t'aime, M. Please stop doing the Texan accents on behalf of all Texans. Um, what about the French people? Okay? What if they also don't want me to speak uh, French like this? Should I also not do that? What about all the Canadian people out there who are like, Christine, can you stop speaking Canadian? Stop. It's annoying. <laughs> what about all the British people out there who don't want me to speak British? And I say, you know what? Golly gee, get fucked, yeah? <laughs> Is Texas a country? It's a good question. I'm not sure. We should look at a map. Where is Texas? Is Texas in Europe? <laughs> Simply imitates and offends everyone equally. <laughs> Exactement. <laughs> okay, we had that mission. Stop disrespecting me. I can't do New York, like I, New York, I don't, no, New York, I don't know, I can't do it, I would if I could, but I just like don't know how, I need to study, I need to listen to it, look it's a picture, <gasps> oh wee wee, oh god, so, who is who, I wish they would put their names above their heads so I could understand, New York, say yous. Yous got that pizza for me? Yous a good? I'm walking over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. New York. <laughs> okay, Marcella with the dark hair, presumably Anne with the light hair. Got it. <laughs> Anne and Marcella. Okay, we are at the last letter. So Anne is prob is Anne French? Well, Anne is, I think, kind of a French name. Marcella, I don't know. 
Someone else probably knows better than me. Are they both French? Like, from Montreal. People sounded different in the 1950s. They did, right? Like, if well, not that there was that many recordings. Um, but, like, young people looked much older compared to today. So there's that. Anne is Texan. Oh. Okay, this is from M, though. So M is French. Marcella? I thought it was Marcella. Marcella? I thought you pronounced it Marcella. Kind of like a cello. I don't know. Don't ask me. I am but a Canadian. <laughs> There's so many recordings from the 1950s. Where? On YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't... Maybe. I don't routinely watch them. I tend to watch content from 2023. Um, Marcella is the Italian version. Mar Marcella the Spanish. Okay. Yeah, I don't know which one. I just read it quickly. I feel like simply is lost in the accent and don't pay enough attention to what she is reading low. This is an accurate reading of my gameplay today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you are here to help me. Merci beaucoup. You are also M. Le. You are Le M. Okay, focus. Uh, arrête là. Mélange jusqu'à ici là. Chris m'en appelle là avec tes cochonneries là. That's what my librarian used to say to us all the time. It's not very nice. <laughs> Dear Anne, I'm sorry it took me so long to answer your last letter. Has it been six months already since I left Montreal? As you always say, le temps passe si vite. Okay, so Anne is French too. It just means like the time passes so quickly. Wow. Facts. My parents are glad I am done with my studies. Uh, I've always, they always thought it was a strange idea for me to go to university. Now they want to find me a husband and have children like any other woman. I think I will. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop her. Stop her. <laughs> Say no to marriage. Don't marry a man. No. Uh, these past few months, I had a lot of time to reflect on our relationship. Uh, you know my feelings for you, and I hope you never forget how much I love you. Je t'aime beaucoup. But we cannot hide our heads in the sand any longer. We were lucky our story lasted as long as it did and foolish to think it would last forever. Our love is forbidden. And hiding it from my family is proving more and more difficult with every day. You will always have a special place in my heart, but I believe it is time for us to go our separate ways. Oh no! You made me feel like a teenager. You made everything but the present disappear. Now I need to be an adult and think about the future. Sincerely, M. Aw, she broke up with her over a letter. I mean, at least she provided a reason and it wasn't a text that was like, I'm done. <laughs> you know, they didn't have text messages there. But uh, she did say that she... Wanted to find a husband and have a children like every other woman. Which wouldn't be uncommon for very young women in the 1950s to feel like they gotta do what the flyers say to do. That's it. Damn it. It's stuck. Okay, wow. That's all the evidence. So we've seen all these letters. Now what am I supposed to do? That riddle is a duffy. Oh. Maybe I need a fresh pair of eyes on it. Let's call my bestie. Hello. A work bestie. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. Wow. Hey, Beth. Look what I just found. For you, always been. I opened the chest in room 507. You did? Damn, I have to admit I didn't really believe in our little plaster key, but way to go. Yeah, well, the key did break inside the lock. I hope this won't lead back to us. If it does, we can always flee the country together. I hear Mykonos is quite nice this time of the year. <laughs> So, spill it. What's in the chest? A riddle. A riddle? I think it was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. 
And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room 509. I could use your help with it, though. Oh, God, I hate riddles. Same girl. Uh, well, let's hear it. Which part is causing you trouble? Um, unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Do you know what this could mean? Hmm. You said Mrs. Beaumont wrote the riddle, right? Yeah, but I have no idea what her favorite bar is. I think I do. Really? How? Uh, that's a story for another time. What? T. But if I had to bet, I'd put my money on the white cat. The white cat. So it's the white cat and not the black one. So... The cat is the solution. Let's just let her clarify for us. I'm not sure I get it. Does well, she just mean white I'm instead right of black? The white cat, then we're looking for... Just a give me the answer. Cat. Yep. Why don't you look around to see if there's any mention of a black cat in Mrs. Beaumont's stuff? Okay, but I will. Just You're getting too bad at riddles, you know? I never said I was bad at them. Just that I hate them. Is there anything else? Me with water marbling. Yeah, tell me everything else. Tell me everything, girl. Here's another one. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. Well, that's the Doris Day, right? Alliterative what now? Andrew, you're a nerd. What's alliterative? Hey, just because I read books doesn't mean I know everything. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. It's a series of words that start with the same sound or letters. Thank you, darling. <laughs> did you get that, Bean? Yeah, I did. Doris Day? I think I know I think what I know do. what to do. Do? Great. Anything else I can help you with? T. No, that's all. Aw. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I wanted tea. I'm just glad I could be of some help. Could Call I me after you open that case. have some tea, you know please? It's simply calling. I would like some tea. Okay, where do I solve the, the riddle? Like, if I write white, unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. White? Her alliterative name was, will surely take you back. Doris? From the first one, take the first two. W-I? From the last one, take the last two. Uh, I-S. W-I-I-S? W I I S Wheeze Did I Oh No W H I can't spell <laughs> W H I S Whiz The fuck is a whiz? <laughs> you gotta go pee or something? You got some whiz cheese? Work health tape work health and insurance inspector or something? <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> what? We just gotta go look for the black cat's name. Oh. <gasps> what would the cat call her? What did it say? No, we remember it. What is it? What is it? Mmm. Mmm. It was on the tan colored collar and it has embossed. Greta? Greta! So is that Greta? So. Okay, from the first one, take the first two. G R and then I S. Gris? That means gray in French. Gris. Gris. And now we need the number code? Okay. Um, 
Yes, I did remember it. I swear, before people started putting it in the chat. Chat is delayed. Gris. Gris is also gray in Spanish. Yes, that makes sense. Gris, and then we need the number code. So let me look at uh, the other paper. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I need to look at it like this. So is that what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to find what weird letters gris is? Or no, I'm misunderstanding. Why is everyone writing 1824? Oh, from the other letter, that's what it circled. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. Never mind. Never mind. I'm overcomplicating things. I like my favorite bar. It's fine. This one was black. Her alliterative name. Okay, will whatever. Surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. I should put the mess back? Okay, fine. Uh, fine, I will clean. Uh, shut up. Uh, wait, how do I clean? It says put back. It's not letting me clean. Oh. Except there's like a broken key in there. This was open, right? It was already open. Okay, where am I going though? Like, I don't understand what I'm actually supposed to do. So I need to find something that refers to its opposite, a black cat. But we already know the name of the cat is Greta. Throwing away your chainmail. Get fucked. It's garbage. Um. I don't think there was anything else to do in here, right? Pick up the collar. Yeah, it just says Greta. A cat named Greta. G R. Okay. We already got it. It's already gris. Room 509. Use the letter that had the number to letter codes. Find what gris numbers become and that would be the code now. But the, the letter to number was like weird symbols, right? It wasn't just numbers to letters. It was like weird ass shit. Five oh nine cruise tuxedo pair of pants. Do you think they got married against the law? They ran away. Maybe. Maybe they like did their own little wedding. No combination, no entry. Hmm. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. This music is so sad, like what's going on, bruh? Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. SW. Uh. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. We already saw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
that had more of the codes and shit, right? But we already like solved this last time. These like random random letters and numbers and shit. Ernie and Wiseman. Have I seen this logo somewhere? Yes. Um Where did we see it? Is that the insurance company? No. That was different. That was the all American insurance. And it wasn't the lawyers. We did see that somewhere. Where was it? Thank you, Josh. Nine months, let's go. Let's go to college. Oh, this is what we get to do. Yay. This is what I was looking for. I was like, well... C'est gris. When are we getting arrested? So that's what I would like to know. We solved it. Inspect. That novelist, Bridget Boswell, That only took like eight hours to solve. You, Marcella? <gasps> she had a ghostwriter! Oh my god! She w had a ghostwriter on a typewriter. That's funny. Okay, so... Wait, who is this from? This is from A, so this is Anne, right? A pen name? Oh, sorry, that's not the same thing as a ghostwriter. <laughs> okay, whatever. She had a, an alias. Secret romance novelist. Okay. Dear Marcella, or should I say Brigitte, you know I prefer an old crime story, but last week I came upon a romance novel with an intriguing title, and they were roommates. <laughs> I bought it on an impulse at the train station and read it from cover to cover during the journey. Can you imagine my surprise when I recognized our story? You may have changed the names and locations. But all of our moments are there. <gasps> oh. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Our endless discussion in the dorm room, our first date at the theatre, our two trip to Quebec City. Cité, you often said the writers are thieves, but I never fully understood until now. That's so cute. Oh, I don't think it's cute. I am Le Gasp. If she's Quebecois, she'd sound more like a duck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be fancier. I'm like a wannabe Parisian, but I'm actually a Quebecer. That's the accent I'm going for. It has been almost ten years since I received your last letter. The letter that painted our relationship as nothing more than a summer fling. At first, I could not believe you had written those words. Then, I waved, waited in vain for your answer and had to accept your love for me had never been real. For many years, I was broken hearted, angry, confused. I questioned the nature of our feelings, of our attraction, and made many wrong dis decisions. But this book, your book, am I foolish to think is proof you really love me? In any case, I hope you are well. I am happy to see you accomplish your dream of becoming a writer très sincèrement. Hey. Okay. So she's not mad. But the first paragraph, I thought she was going to be like, or the first and second paragraph. Like, can you imagine my surprise when I recognize our stories? Our story. Like, it kind of feels like you're an invasion of privacy in a way. Even if you didn't, if you, even if you omitted the names, whatever. That doesn't still mean that everything is okay, I think. Like, it often said you, or sorry. You often said writers are thieves. But I never fully understood until now. 
So I thought she was mad, right? And then like, and I get it. I'd feel like, like, what? Like, don't fucking use my, ex I don't care if you use a different name. Like, that's not the point, you know? But it appears she's not mad. She's like, anyways, I guess you love me. <laughs> what? Okay, that was a roller coaster. She's not happy, but she's like, at least you love me. See, I'd be afraid of of M if I was actually uncomfortable with them like writing shit about me. I would not want to re-engage with them because they would turn this into the next book, you know? And then M would write her next book and be like, "I got a letter from the woman and uh, she was questioning my integrity. She called me a thief." Like holy shit. You know, it'll never end. The vibes are confusing in this letter. They kind of are. Oh, Anne. <gasps> There's Murder more. might be a bit much, but you deserve some kind of justice. Justice? We love criminal justice. Okay. So this is from Anne. To Mar oh, hold on. I'm getting confused. So that was Anne who wrote Marcella the letter. Because Marcella has written books called And They Were Roommates. And now Anne is writing more letters. What was the date? February... In March. Okay. So we don't have the in-between letter, but another letter from Anne, whose story was co-opted. Without permission. Dear Marcella, I didn't expect you to reply to my letter. Like, I would like to read that, sir. But I am happy to see I was wrong. Your words have comforted me in a time of great distress. If only L Louis, Louis was half the man you say Hector is. He has quite a temper and hits me frequently. Oh no. I am willing to put up with it as long as he doesn't hurt Michel, the kid. But there are some days when it becomes almost unbearable. The other day I dreamt of our first date. We were watching the postman only rings twice again. But suddenly we were in the movie. You were Lana Turner. And I was John Garfield. <laughs> and we were both plotting to kill my husband. <laughs> Write a book about murder, my husband. I give you permission this time. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but I almost hope it was uh, premonitory. Premonitory? I don't know. I don't actually know that word. Like a premonition? I've never heard that word used in that sense. I am a French woman. I do not know English. <laughs> to answer your question, I do still have our box. My brother is currently in Atlanta for work, and I was thinking of going to see him with Michel next month. If you are able to meet me there, we could open the box together and laugh at the silly things we thought important all those years ago. I hope to hear from you soon. Très sincèrement, A. A. Premonitory is a premonition. Okay. I've just never heard it used in that way with an I. A Y. B.S. Do you remember the secret language, language we invented to see so Sister Miller couldn't understand the notes we passed during her class? <gasps> we gotta do it! So the symbols I've been deciphering. You invented them back in the day to keep your love secret. What does this say? It feels really special. Someone take a screenshot. Is it going to let us like remember this later? I took a screenshot. <laughs> I okay. do like a happy ending. I just hope that's where your story is headed. Oh my oh. god. So, you came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary. But all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. There is so much to read. I do not know how to read. I am a woman. We do not read. <laughs> it's 
C'est no to divorce and reading. <rire> OK. OK. C'est où? Le, le 10 août 1957. Dear Marcella, thank you for sending me a signed version of your latest novel. OK, now she's sending signed novels of their romance story. She said, give me some PR. <rire> I think it's your greatest work yet, but I do have a few comments to help you make the next one even better. Am I getting paid for this? Please toggle. Okay. I just like reading the cursive. It feels like it inspires fancy. You know? First, I believe Rose should be more concerned with what she deserves than what her husband deserves. Uh, he may not deserve the pain she will cause by leaving him, but they both deserve to be happy. And they won't be as long as they remain together, as long as she doesn't listen to her, her own needs. Also, I think it would be great if your next novel ended on the more positive note. Okay, who's asking you to write her novels? Like, what is this? Like, what? Did you have dinner? No, I did not. Do you have any soup, Bentendo? Imagine if Rose left her husband and rode into the sunset with Eve. Imagine if they went to New York or Los Angeles, some place where people like us are tolerated. Imagine if they went and got their happy ending, it would be the best story ever. I don't know that New York or Los Angeles are like a safe haven, broadly speaking, compared to Montreal. <laughs> like... I mean, I also wasn't around in 1950. Like, was it, was that really what people thought at that time? Like, Montreal is so old school, but New York and California are like totally liberal. Is that true? I don't know. I guess like times have really changed. Yeah, I don't know the climate in the 50s. I wasn't there. I wasn't even the baby. Probably better than Montreal, but not the best. Was anyone, like, normal in 1950s, though? I don't think so. I feel like no one was. Like, everyone was fucked in the head. <laughs> like, why Why would you think that, like, going to New York was going to be, like, amazing for this? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think so. Not in the 50s. What? Thank you, Josh, for the five gifted memberships. Moshi gang, moshi gang, moshi gang, moshi gang, moshi gang. Merci beaucoup. Cops were still raiding gay bars then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like. Is everyone. If everyone is fucked, isn't that technically normal? Mm, you should read Foucault in uh, Philosophie Francaise. <laughs> is it abnormal or normal? C'est quoi la différence? So many gifters today. Yeah, why? Is it Christmas or something? It's not my birthday anymore. I know it says happy birthday, but it's actually like not my birthday. <laughs> that was like a month ago. <laughs> my brain is too fried for philosophy. I know. It's very difficult to, to think at all when we have a tiny brain. All right. Uh, très sincèrement, à PS. I know you say invisibility protects us, but don't you wish to be seen sometimes? Wouldn't you like people to know who you are? Brigitte Boswell, to recognize you on the street, to recognize you for your own work. Why not publish your next novel under your own name? Okay, January. Dear Marcella, I left the house. I left Louis. I could not take it anymore. I could not lie anymore. How do you do it? Uh, how do you manage to live a double life, to hide your work and your novels from your husband? I had so much to hide, and yet Michelle and I are staying at the Clarington Hotel. I think we are present now. Clarington Hotel, until we find a place to stay and the divorce is done. I don't know how long it will take. Could you come see me in Montreal? I really need you to be by my side right now. Très sincèrement. Ah, P.S. I wouldn't put it past Louis to scour every hotel guest book in the region looking for me under his name. So I've registered under the name Beaumont. Now, things make sense. 
We have a fake name. There's a lot of stuff in here. I haven't? I don't think I've looked at everything Oh my yet. god. Uh, it never ends. Look in the guest book. Okay, but we're, we are instructed to read all these letters. Actually, I gotta do a quick pee out the tea. Here, you read this. And, um, pee out the tea. Run an ad for Susie. I will be RB. Oops, I took off chat instead of the Susan didn't give you an ad? Rude! I have an ad blocker? What is that? You're bragging about being a dick? <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Actually, didn't YouTube crack down on that? I saw an article that they like made it impossible or harder to use ad blockers. And then people were really mad. And it was like, well, yeah, what do you think? What do you expect them to do? You know? It made me very mad. But that's like, it's kind of an irrational mad. It's like when you get used to like a special privilege that you acquired by doing something like that wasn't intended for it. And then you have it for so long and then it gets taken away, you're mad. But if you step back and you really think about it, you're like, so I was using something that technically, according to the terms of service, I wasn't supposed to be using. And now they're making it impossible for me to use. So I'm mad. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, ad blocker. Okay, this is not for me. I am fine. I'll be okay. I don't need the individual 0 .003 cent that that particular thing from your particular view may be added up to. I'm not talking about me. But ads on YouTube support content creators at all levels, whether they're giant or tiny creators. And small creators need to hit an ad revenue minimum in order to get paid at all. I think it's like $100. And if they don't hit that minimum, they, they don't get it <laughs> until they hit it. So... When you use ad block, it affects every channel you are you are watching, not just the people who like the Jake Pauls that you're like get fucked, you know, like no, it affects everything you watch on YouTube. If you look up a video of like how to change the oil in my car, I don't know, and it was like some small creator who made it, like yeah, they're like not going to get anything for that. So it's it's not really like I'm not saying it for me. I just think as a general good community practice, I do think it is good to watch ads. I leave ads on. I have like they gave me YouTube premium for free or whatever because I'm a top creator. So one of my accounts has it, but the other ones I didn't purchase it. 
so I can actually just like participate in seeing ads and like understand how that experience is as a regular viewer. And if you really hate ads that much, like you can buy YouTube premium. I know I'm not saying everyone has, what is it? 10 or $14 a month. I forget what it is now. It might be different in Canada. Like I'm not saying you must do that. If you can't afford $15 a month for no ads, then maybe you just have to watch ads. I don't know. <laughs> like, I th feel like this isn't worth the screaming match. When it affects so many smaller creators. So much. That's why. I, I kind of gives me the ick when I see people who are, like, so offended by it. And I'm like, dude, there's so many people who can get half the money from this ad if you just watch it. <laughs> like, it's, it's like a community service. I think we should look at it as ads keep things free. That's another good point. And it's not just about like all the big bad YouTube Googles taking all your money. Like in this case, the creator gets 55%. That's pretty good. I don't know. I mean, like, I guess you could get 90 and say that's much better, but whatever. Like it is what it is. YouTube provides a service that costs a lot, I think, to fucking make all this work. Sometimes we don't get enough poll options but <laughs> like you know anyways do you get a better deal as a creator from premium accounts I don't think I can legally tell you what I perceive to be the truth um <laughs> ad block that isn't that different isn't that difference in our generation using Napster? Yeah, it is. But like eventually it became like illegal and looked down upon to use services like Napster and then we learned. But like no one's really done that with Adblock yet. They just like keep doing it. I don't know. Bandwidth costs money. Yeah, like I don't know. I try and follow the, this isn't about following like the law. Like this isn't like a fucking law yet. I don't know. It's just like, to me, it's like, I don't know, let's uh, pay into what all these people are doing. All the shit I'm watching. That's all. Like, I can sit through five seconds and then hit skip. <laughs> I know ads are annoying and sometimes they get longer. But like, I don't know. I'd, I would like to support whatever I'm watching, even if it's a fucking trial. But that is me, a biased YouTuber. Okay? I'm a biased YouTuber. I was once a small creator. Ben, where is my dinner? <laughs> Did I see Sarah's message? Uh, hold on. Ah! It's, it's doing this again. Oh no, where is the chat? Did I miss the message? Fuck, I can't stop. I don't see. I don't see anything. Silly munchkins, merci beaucoup, silly munchkins. Um, that's all, I don't know why it's not saving it. I love ads. Okay, well, like, we don't have to lie either. Like, I don't love them. But you know, it's fine. Do creators still get paid for skipped ads? Like, yeah. Like, if you see something, uh, if you, watch any part of an ad even if you watch the three seconds and then hit skip like yeah there's a portion of it that goes to them there's like some weird math that like yeah i guess they get a little bit less but yes it still all counts and maybe it's only 0. 0.0003 dollars for that one thing that you watched but it adds up for smaller creators so there are some good ads yeah i agree it was someone who won your scholarship what what Qu'est-ce que fuck? From Sarah S. Christine, I won your tuition giveaway a few years ago. And now I'm living in Ottawa and attending law school. Thanks for your support. What? Was that a super chat? And it's just not showing? Or was it just like a regular chat? That's crazy. I'm sorry I missed it. Really? That's so fun. Wait, what was their name? This was copy and paste, right? Because it was from Sarah. 
That's so crazy. That's so cool. It wasn't, oh, there you are, Sarah S. It wasn't super chat, it was regular chat. It's me. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that before where like someone that I, I did their tuition years ago, like showed up years later and was like, hey, it's me. <laughs> Went to school, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's so fun. Thank you so much for sharing, Sarah. That's amazing. Can you be our lawyer? <laughs> Your honor. I'm crying. That's so sweet. That's cool. And now you're, you're in Ottawa doing law school. So what's that, Ottawa U? I mean, Ottawa's not that big. But that's so fun. Simply, I got your nail polish. It's so good. Look, there's two chatters. I won your tuition giveaway. Now I'm going to law school. I got your nail polish. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm really happy for the both of you. That's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. Sarah will represent the fridge. Yes. We need more good lawyers. We need more good lawyers in chat to help keep order in the chat, actually. So, you know, hope you like it here and hope you stay. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder what happened. I mean, not, it's not like I stalk any of the people I gave tuition to. But there, when I was doing it individually, like I would directly contact people and did the giveaways with like Google Sheets or whatever. Um, yeah, I like had a tracker and I would follow up with people but then it just became like a lot of administration and organization and memory to do that so I kind of stopped doing that I apologize <laughs> but like it was a lot instead I like I now do the um the scholarship through Carleton University so they can manage it and do the selection and giving the award and then it lasts forever so I don't have to initiate it every year so yeah, I basically transitioned to that. Um, just gave them a big bucket of money and now they can give scholarships on my behalf for the next million years or something. You should prank them and ask for the money back. Um, Sarah, so l listen, okay. Because some people have ad block, I'm gonna need to put food on the table this month. <laughs> <laughs> something men would say to troll I can't even do it seriously listen okay I know I gave you the equivalent of like a semester of full-time tuition in Canada but like I'm gonna need that back you I've, you've graduated right okay your loan is due <laughs> let's go <laughs> what <laughs> men she's gotta eat I still can't get out of my head. This is tea that only Ben would spill, so I'm not going to say the full extent of the tea. But there was a YouTuber, like six years ago, who was definitely really rich. And I, like, I, I just know that from views, associations, watching, like, I knew, or could guess, you know, they had several million dollars, okay. And, um, they would say things like they needed to do this particular sponsorship to put food on the table, like literally quote. And I'd be like, <laughs> and, and ever since then, it just like became a joke between me and Ben, like randomly at home when no one else is around. I'm just like, to meme on it, I'd like, I don't know do some whatever it is that's like some innocuous thing and I'd be like well I have to put food on the table <laughs> like we're just being stupid but it was like to make fun of this person who would say this to their audience I'm like it's not about food on the table like maybe if you just wanted to say that you're running a business now all of these little things add up or like I, I don't like literally anything else then I need to put food on the table This was way back when, when no one really knew how much money YouTubers make. Like, I feel like Social Blade wasn't even 
that big of a thing. Or its projections were like, they made 100,000 or 7 million. We can't tell, you know? So, like, no one really knew. I feel like now it's, like, way more obvious and there's, like, math calculators that can tell you, basically, generally. Ballpark, even if it's not that specific. Anyways, six years ago, I think it was, but not very accurate. Yeah, and it's, like, it doesn't really matter whether it was, like, oh, they made four million or eight million. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's, like... I don't think you need to do this one sponsorship to put food on the table, as you put it. Just, like, okay, you're running a business. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, what? Like, it was just weird and stupid. Anyways, I will never forget it. It's always a joke for me now. Ben, put food on the table. Where's my dinner? <laughs> I am hungry. Put it on the table. Okay, je vais lire, and then we should probably uh, go to sleep, you know? Well, not sleep. Just uh, work and then sleep. Is Ben gonna put dinner on the table? I don't fucking know. It's 8.30 p.m. We'll find out. Okay. Um, I stood up to get my tea and my cat. Fig stole my chair, so now I'm watching standing up. What? Thank you simply for being great. Um, your cat stole your chair? <laughs> Is that what I just read? Yes, your cat stole your chair. Oh, yeah, you better let your cat sit. Let, let your cat sit. Your cat's the boss now. Okay. Uh, uh, you know I prefer a good old crime story. Uh, I already read this letter. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. This is the old letter. Oh, it's just going in a circle. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. What? I don't think I've looked after all this. Turns out you're a fan of Bridget? Of Marcella? That's a lot sweeter than okay. I expected. Okay, we have more reading to do. Ready? Septembre 27, 1957, dear Marcella, although you don't know me, I think I can safely say I'm your biggest fan. Your novels have literally changed my life. <gasps> Benjamin, c'est le dîner? Finally, someone puts food on the table. <laughs> you, need, you need more ad deals so we can put food on the table. Should I run an ad? I could get three cents. <laughs> There's oh, hair that smells good. all over the microphone. Yeah, manchi? So this is a blackened salmon with Creole jam jambalaya. Oh, it's it's there's no camera. My battery c'est mort. Don't know what to do as a member chat. So thanks for supporting Carlton students from a fellow Raven alumni. Cool. What's a Raven? The Raven is like the bird of the school mascot. I was never into sports, so I wasn't a raven, but I was a student. Only sports for ravens? <laughs> oh, voila! Oh, hold on. Do you like my Merci Benjamin? Is good? I didn't try it yet. Did you not eat it? No. This is a big ass piece of fish. You expect me to eat this whole? You're a growing girl. Oh my You're god. You're a big ass girl, you need a big ass fish. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I like your butt. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, that's a big old fish. I like the rice. It tastes, um... It's not too spicy? A little bit. Now it's spicy. But it's like pepper. No, this is a... <gasps> ben! What? What is that? It's a pickle. No! <laughs> You're trying to murder me. This is like murder. I don't know what that is. That's a shishito or whatever. No. Yes? I think it's a zucchini. Why would you do that? I didn't make this. <laughs> I don't know what that is. He tried to murder me on the evening of uh, November the 8th. 
de 2023. Oh, it's okra. She, she likes bread. What? It's like okra. Is it spicy? No. What is it? What is okra? Okra? Cosmetics? <laughs> what? What's an okra? It's healthy? Is it spicy? Be honest. Kind of weird. It's like a zucchini, but a little... Oh. Softer. I like zucchini. It's right. slimy? It's a little slimy. Oh, I don't want it. It's not spicy. So why were you asking me if it's spicy? I thought the... I thought the rice might be spicy. Sometimes black and salmon is kind of spicy. Show them the cut. This is my cooking show. Finally, Ben put food on the table. Mm. Is it good? That looks good. Eat it. Let me try a bite. It's pretty good. Is that that, fishy is, that fish? is pretty good. I prefer salmon than other fishes because it tastes less like fishes. It's so fancy. Okay, where were we? Ugh. How am I supposed to read and eat at the same time? Then why you mean eat? Nom 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 nom. Nom noms. This is creepy. This is the creepy guy. Where? Who, Ben? Oh, you're reading the letter. As you should. Don't mind me, I'm just eating dinner. <laughs> okay, where were we? I just needed to like shove some rice and fish in my face. I was hungry, okay. Alors, uh, on y va. Although you don't know me, I think I can safely say I'm your biggest fan. Your novels have literally changed my life. Wait, who wrote this? Paul? <gasps> she has a fan. She has a stalker. Fan mail. Do you think she kept it in her shower? After the war, I spent almost 10 years in a hospital psychiatric because of uh, les attaques paniques. None of the treatments were working and I wasn't getting any better. I became friends with one of the nurses. She started lending me books so I could pass the time. I didn't really like the first ones, but then I picked up Brigitte Boswell's first novel, your novel. I had never read such a beautiful love story. It almost brought tears to my eyes. I immediately urged the nurse to get me more of your books. Believe it or not, the more I read them, the less panic attacks I had. The doctors thought it was their new medication, medication finally working, but I knew the truth. Your novels gave me the courage, courage? 
to get in contact with Lindsay, a friend from the war, I had always felt for him the same way your characters feel for each other, but I had never dared to tell him. Now I have, thanks to you. The thought of seeing him again is what motivated me to get better and leave the hospital. I hope to hear back from him soon. Oh, he inspired. You got inspired. After my discharge, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I discovered Brigitte was a synonym. How do you say that with a French accent? No idea. So tracking you down took longer than I thought. Fortunately, I am a very patient, a resourceful man, and I never give up. Do you think we could meet? I have so much to tell you, Paul. I probably wouldn't meet him. Like, I like the story. That's very kind. But, like, just, you, you just never fucking know. Someone could be lying. I'm glad you were able to open up to Marcella. Like I'm, this. that's just me being suspicious. Everyone needs someone And to probably mean. <laughs> you don't know who he is, right? It could be the stalker. Okay. Dear Marcella, thank you for answering my letter. Oh, she fucked up. She fucked up. I realize now how unsettling it must have been for you. Please forgive me for tricking your editor into giving me your address. I fucking told you. His name is Paul, which is the other name of the stalker, Mr. Spade. Correct? See, I fucking knew it. Trust no one. That was probably all a lie. Like, that probably wasn't even real. Okay. I know I should not have done that. I wanted to heal. So this is supposed to be a guy, not a woman's voice. How do I do French boy? French boy. <laughs> I wanted to thank you as well for encouraging words concerning Lindsay. It's so much uglier. <laughs> Only French women sound good. <laughs> not French men. Bonjour, Michel Mahoney. Although this game is so weird, especially from working at a hotel, I have to remind myself that this is a game. Oh, this is not a game. This is life. Welcome to our lives. Good luck. I hear if you die in this game, you die in real life. What to do? Do you press X? Do you press A? What buttons do you select? I don't know. I still don't know. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to thank you as well for your encouraging words concerning Lindsay. Like, you just get uglier when you try and make it a masculine accent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why? I still haven't heard from him and I'm starting to feel I might have the wrong address. I wish I could take a train to Virginie, but that's not an option right now as I can barely pay the rent. I guess I will have to find a job. Oh no, I don't want a job. I'll just be a YouTuber. As a kid. I dreamed of being an actor, a Hollywood star, I know it's a foolish drive, but what else can I do? What am I good at? I've tried getting some more job scare already, but the employer has told me down as soon as they learn where I've spent the last 10 years of my life. If it continues like this, I'll probably end up on the street, like so many of my army buddies. Why am I even telling you all of this? After reading your books and getting to know you through them, I tend to forget I'm only a but a stranger to you. I hope you don't mind. You seem to be a good listener, and I've been feeling rather lonely ever since I left the hospital. Clue? After, since he left the hospital. So we read in his note that he was in a psych hospital, right? Am I remembering this correctly? Anyways... Please tell me more about your life and do not hesitate to write a long letter so I can jack off to them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I must have read your previous one a thousand times already. Okay, maybe I'm not kidding. An advance on my salary. So <laughs> Marcella hired you. But what for? Why? Do not hire the stalker, girl. Don't simply know me. <laughs> I said Jack off. Exactement. The name is Jack de. Dear Marcella, I've just received a letter from Lindsay's mother. She tells me he's dead. Oh, 
Worlds cannot even begin to describe how empty I feel. He died two years ago before I even sent my first letter. He will never know my feelings for him and I will never know if he could have loved me back. I guess I should have known this would end the pain just like your novels. Her novels ended his pain? Or end in pain? Oh, I guess the ending. Sorry, the ending of the novel. Got it. I wish I had Lindsay's ability to find beauty everywhere. Even during the war, I miss the death and chaos. He would marvel at the forest as Germain, la, the sun, and the birds. He loves birds so much I could identify them just by listening to their song. I have to admit your proposition took me by surprise. I was hesitant to leave at home at first. I was afraid to miss Lindsay's answer. But now there's nothing keeping me here. I'm desperate for anything that will help forget the pain. But I don't have enough money to make it to Texas. <laughs> Do you think you could give me an advance on my salary? In spite of everything, I'm really excited to know I'll finally meet you. I'm fucking scared. Oh, Lindsay's a man. Yeah, I guess it was presumptuous of me to think otherwise. No, but that was obvious. That was obvious. Okay. So, let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz are some kind of star-crossed lovers? Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Well, I may be able to help with that. Really? How? Oh, some mail arrived earlier for Mrs. Beaumont. You've opened Open it, it, right? We're already going to jail. Let's go quicker. Privacy? Of course I did. <laughs> I am a bad influence on you. Or have we been bad influences on each other? I guess we'll never know. So, what's in it? It's three train tickets. And, uh, oh, there's a tourism pamphlet for California. California? Well, it makes sense much more progressive there than it is here. So, Anna and Marcella want to go there to live their love freely. Anna and Marcella, huh? You three are best pals now? Well, after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah. Well, what about Mr. Morgan, though? I mean, Paul. How does he fit into all of this? I think Marcella hired him. I found some letters Paul wrote to her. He said that her proposition took him by surprise and that he'd need an advance on his salary. What did she hire him for? To investigate her own affair? I'm not sure. I didn't find the letter he was replying to. And why did he have those pictures of you anyway? I guess we'll never know for sure, but I don't think it was ever about me. It's always been about Anne and Marcella. Exactly. Well, it feels a tad anticlimactic, but who needs drama, right? At least it made our day pretty interesting. <laughs> it sure did. You know, after today, I think I get why you're so interested in the lives our guests lead. I try to forget they exist as soon as I'm done interacting with them. But once in a while, it's nice to remember that... Well, even the most put-together person could be an absolute mess on the other side of the door. What about you? Who is Beth Lambert when no one's looking? I like to think that with me, what you see is what you get. But maybe an extra Snoopy super sleuth could uncover a few more layers. Maybe ones I didn't even know I had. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Only back. Come see me when your shift ends, all right? We could leave together if you want. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. Ooh, a sleepover. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A oh! pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. Why do yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get murdered? I know, but isn't my way so much more fun? Well... 
we she's she's gonna murder the us out of Michael's book and decorate it that's what it is and then spend the night throwing stuff at Bernard whenever he comes through the lobby oh now you're talking <laughs> she's seducing us to kill us I just have to finish my don't you see <laughs> and then I can leave okay I want to just check what where did it tell me? I'm at I'm only at seventy percent. I thought I'd be at like ninety five. <laughs> like what? You're telling me there's thirty percent more remaining? Guys, why have we been so slow today? Was it les accents? Was it le fichis? Was it Ben trying to put food on the table? Was it the distracted snooping? I think I think we're going to have to save this as is. And uh, return to it. Uh, la prochaine semaine. La semaine prochaine. Did you put nail oil on your lips? No. I would never suggest that is its intended use <laughs> okay you oil your nails that's what you should do yeah that's fine oil your nails that's your only task that and doing your homework, okay? Do what Connie did. Be like Connie. You use nail oil on your nails? Yeah, that's what I've been saying for seven years. This game is getting so interesting. Um, it really is. But I'm like, I guess I'm not that shocked that I have way more to finish. No one is surprised, simply was distracted. Um, good point to stop. It might get very interesting next time, very quickly. Is that a hint? No spoilers. D does someone get murdered? Like, I'm kind of just waiting for, like, actually something crazy to happen. Like, we've uncovered les secrets. We've heard about uh, the, the affairs, the divorce, the lesbians, <laughs> and then the soccer Paul, who worked for Marcella and then now is, like, stalking her and us, and there was pictures, and, uh, it's going to be very tricky to proceed and see what happens next. And um, the other problem is that after the stream, I will continue speaking like this to Benjamin. Uh, chaque soir, pour approximer comme uh, trois jours, parce que c'est très difficile d'arrêter quand t'es si... Uh, I don't even remember the word used to. <laughs> Fuck, I just failed. You know what I mean, okay? It's very difficult to once you once you pop, you cannot stop, okay, Americans. You know this expression, no? Okay, I cannot wait for the murder, but you know what? I cannot wait for even more. The uh, the after party collection. Qui vient ce weekend? So, uh, n'oublie pas, mettez des choses dans votre wish list, okay? Vous devrez additionner les choses avec la petite étoile. Tu fais comme ça, tu vas shop now. Et tu peux le, le petit étoile comme ça. Donc, uh, et puis tu peux faire uh, my account, et puis wish list. And then uh, you can add your entire wish list to your account. Et puis, c'est 714 dollars. <laughs> et ça, c'est ce samedi. N'oublie pas, ça va être... Uh, um, 
Le after party collection de Hello Talk. Does anyone under like bonus points if you actually know what I'm saying? <laughs> like no one knows what I'm saying. <laughs> On va faire des ad reads seulement en français. Oui. <laughs> it's probably like sounds the same. Kind of bonsoir. Oui oui. Literally no. <laughs> Après party, mais oui. <laughs> Yeah, add stuff to your wish list. Get ready. Yeah, okay, okay, whatever, whatever. Okay, let me see if I can find you one last fun thing. Just to send you off. See what ridiculousness has gone on in this Discord, in this simply Discord, yeah? Menchian's Isla. I'm just gonna look for something. Very educational that I'm sure they've made. Actually, you know what's hard? It's like the detective's desk is kind of well organized, you know, despite all their flaws. But I also can't find like the unhinged weird shit in it. Like I remember seeing something earlier, but now I did I do not know where it is. I but I will find it. I promise. Oh, I found it. D'accord, tout le monde. Uh, this is my send-off to you. I tell you uh, cheers. And I will see you this weekend for the after party. Oui, oui. On va vous voir le samedi. Be there or be a hollow square. Au revoir. Merci aux moderateurs.